Hey, welcome to this live stream battle report where I'm going to be running the Black Templars and Jake is going to be running the Votan. How are you doing, Jake? I'm very well, Steve. I'm very, very well. First stream of 2024. Yes. So welcome, everyone. Happy New Year. New Year. New cameras. Old world. Oh. That's what, that's what I want. Okay. Um, no, instead we had to play this game, so... Yes. You know. Because we are going to the Las Vegas Open yeah. next week. And this is our practice game that you're witnessing live with our lists. That I think we're about 80%, aren't we? There? I'm like 95% of the way Ooh. there. Um, Ooh, however, my. I've learned a lot of things in the last week. So it was like 95% now we're about 80 Well, there, are, there has been a few little changes for the yeah. LVO in terms of their own rules FAQ. So therefore we're adapting and changing and practicing as we go. But list submission is Friday. So we do need to make sure we get our lists in. At least one. 40k in and stop getting distracted <laughs> yeah with old world yeah which is coming out soon by the way because we've recorded an epic epic battle report with chloe from the, the lady kane so that's gonna be coming out very very soon as soon as jordan gets his act together and edits that i know you're watching at home jordan doing a great job not, nothing else to do i guess no it's not, nothing about report apparently yeah so. sorry steve i missed it because uh you i was editing good work i was good work jordan. lost in your eyes <laughs> well you know yeah. um on the deck tonight we've got the Rhino, Chris, how are you doing? I'm great. Great to be back. Um, happy to uh, have to be here teaching you guys how to play 40k the right way. You know, and that's what he does. That's what we love him, right? And he has a cool Tesla. Yeah. <laughs> now he looks like Batman when he comes in. But that is only for the Hive Guard matchup, though. What the Tesla? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> only for the Deer matchup. <laughs> so we've also got Michael, but he's not here yet. So he'll be here in spirit. But uh, he'll be here in a bit. He'll be here in a minute. And we've also got Seb on the deck tonight, commentating with Chris until Michael steps in. And then we've got the GG, the Giggly Ghost. The Giggly Ghost. The has... house is haunted. <laughs> we now have given the Giggly Ghost Billy a camera. And we've got another camera, and it was all thank you to all of your kind super chats and members. We've added another camera to the stream. So, um, yeah, one more camera, and we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's good to see your counting's improved. Yes. Yeah. This year, that was my New Year's resolution. To Le count. <laughs> learn to count, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, we've, we've now brought back a very old meme of, like, we used to have Sebi Cam. Yeah. And now we've got Sebi Deck. And now, like, and then Vin, <laughs> soon, Billy, we'll have... Like Billy Deck. Yeah, so. exactly. That'd be great. That's how it works. Yeah, this is like your natural progression. Because everyone said that they've missed the close-ups of the models, so we've brought that back. And uh, Maybe yeah. you wouldn't have missed it for <laughs> be missing it for this stream. Yeah, some um, of yours are uh, beautifully painted. By Chris. By Chris, Chris. Yeah. yeah. So let's all be careful, yeah. what we say. <laughs> so the armies tonight. Who's going first, Seb? Well, what about the missions, Steve? Oh, we'll do that we got to, We've got to know what mission we're playing. We'll do the armies first, then we'll figure out the mission. Okay. All right. Because you don't know the mission. Who's up first? Me? Yeah. It's bin lid time. <laughs> What's in your it's list? It's like morphing time. Uh, so, 2,000 points of A town. It's actually 1980. What a year. Um, that's what I'm going to name it from now on. Um, so, in the hero slots, I've got the Warlord, Uthar the Destined. Uthar. 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 Now, there's a lot of chat about him not being very good. Now, I do agree to an extent, but I wanted to try him out because Mike Porter, fellow VT alumni, has said he really rates him. So I need Alumni? To... I think alumni. he's more of a legend. Well, that's what I mean. The, the, the goat of 40k, in my opinion. Yeah. Um, only lost one game by technicality. Yeah. Because <laughs> he wasn't there. Um, so, yeah. So, you've got Ufar in the list. He's going to be really interesting to find out what he does. Then I've got a Carl. Now, change to LVO they are considering modifiers as a part of your weapon characteristic. Which, which is great. Which is great, and yeah. in my opinion, amazing. I think that is the correct yeah. ruling on that. So yeah, normally I run him with a praising glare, which means I can pick an objective and put a judgment thing. This time I've run him with grim demeanor. Of course. To see about, because the main thing is of the gauntlets in combat being, a, being too damaged. That's yes. like my main damage source to kill things yeah. like that. So it gets around things yeah. like Catans, that half all damage. Yeah. You just go, I don't care. You're taking two damage to the face. Yeah, so I think that's good. And I haven't really found a praising glare has been that useful. So let's hope that does me some good. Then I've got three units of 10 warriors. So the warriors are equipped with magma rails, high las auto rifles, um, and then I've got a medic, a scanner, and a um, another guy, a comms array in each day. You yawn at me. Um, and, I've, and I've got these put in Sagittar, so I've split them into two units of five. So how they'll be configured is a magma rail, the sergeant, the auto rifle, the dude who ignores cover, and the feel no pain guys in one unit. 
and then I've got another like what we're going to call not great unit uh, with the comms array. <laughs> so we have a senior team and a junior team. Yeah, we've got A team, B team. In each squad. Um, but it's more like A team, D team. Right. Um, and then... I've got three units of berserkers. This is the other thing that's changed from my list. Ooh. Is they were I didn't really rate them. I like them, but now they're a hundred points for five, I and like you get a them. mole launcher, and they're just overall really baller. I like and them a lot. I think they are great, yes. and they really do fill a plug that Votan struggle with, which is the free damage mm -hmm. cap. So. Really interested to and see how these do. I really like them. I think they're a great unit. I think they're good, and I'm really, really glad I've put three units in, and so far, hopefully, they can also come up for me strong in this game. Yeah. Uh, then I've got two, three units of bikes, so never leave home without them, my little mission playing pieces. I love them to bits. Um, Top lads. And I've got ten hearth guard, mm. uh, and they've got mass gauntlets. Well, not mass gauntlets. They've got normal gauntlets, Volkite, shooters, and... Potato launchers. So Excellent. And that is 19... Oh, and I've got six Sagittars. That's probably important. I've got six Sagittars as well with high, leads, high las beam cannons. Okay, so cool. I've got something for everything. Loads of scout moves. Loads of fun. Loads of models. So many models, in fact, we had to leave some out, which yes. is uh, probably going to be a good thing for everyone at home when you find out. And yes. that, is two, that is 1980 points. Of All right. Time. So should I go for my list? I think you should. Okay. Your, your list has changed a million times, so let's see if you get it right. Right. So, yeah, you're right. Um, <laughs> I've got Helbrecht leading the force today. This is my converted miniature uh, that you'll see holding his big double-handed sword. Uh, that is my Helbrecht. I also have a lieutenant with a relic shield. Um, he'll give me lethal hits. And then I have a Judaser as well. For the fight last, again, the converted fight model first. with the big... Huh? Fight first, you get. Yes, yeah, not yeah. fight last. You're thinking ninth edition. I was thinking ninth silly, edition. Silly, silly Stevie, thanks. Silly, yeah, silly, silly, silly. Um, so, yeah, what did I say? Lieutenant, Judas, sir. I've also got the Biologus, and Biologus. he's been given the enhancement, whatever it's called, that's good. Fire discipline. That's the one. Yeah. Um, so that gives me sustained on sixes, and if I'm in dev dock, I get on fives. I'm glad I read your list. <laughs> well done, good sir. Then for battle line, I've got five assault intercessors. So you don't have a librarian? No. Um, then we've got, sh this is a gladius detachment. <laughs> then I've got, for other units, I've got five infiltrators. I've got six aggressors. Mm. I've got three units of five sword brethren. And I have three Centurions with Laz Cannons okay. and a Missile Nipples. And then I've got a Land Raider Redeemer and also I have a Land Raider. Now, the Land Raider Redeemer, um, it looks like a Land Raider at the moment. Don't let that fool you. It's actually the Redeemer. Okay. Mm. And the Redeemer will be the one with the silver plating on the front until I've painted the flames. Yeah. Guns. And, and don't be fooled by my Berserkers. Oh. They aren't Hulk Hogan. And they are, in fact, actual Berserkers. <laughs> we've got... The OG, Emperor's <laughs> Champion. He is here. Billy, get a close-up on that dude, because he's a legend. This was uh, a model that I've just cherished for such a long time. Yeah. And um, Ben Jones stole my actual Emperor's Champion. He took him home in his box the other day. So Go on, Ben. We're, we're, Always we're, liked you. We've put this guy on a bigger base, and he's ready to roll. And Take don't him. worry, this isn't Hulk Hogan. <laughs> we are. Saying. He's going to be taking names, and he is a very... You, are you strong enough to lift that guy? He's pretty heavy. I know, I've been Oof. I've been watching Ben Mudge. Cool. So, cool, cool, cool. All right, um, so that's the list. Uh, any questions? So, um, there's been a bit of activity in chat already. Um, quite a few super chats, so I think we'll just take a minute and run through those. Oh, that's always Let's good, yeah. Scroll back to the top. So, first of all, a big thanks to Clayton Sanford for gifting 10 Vanguard Tactics memberships. Baller. Uh, be sure to thank Clayton if you, uh, if you get one of those memberships, because it's better... Well, you know, I'm sure I'd appreciate it. And if Seb can scroll down a little bit. Thank you. Um, we also got, oh, how am I going to read that? Rontastic for a five euro super chat. Go, go, go. And happy new year from Germany. Go back, go Black Templars. Yes. Thank you um, very much. And then not to be outdone, Clayton has also super chatted $5. Uh, come on, Stephen, show those space dwarves who's boss right. for the emperor. Like uh, well, we're going, we're going a bit, bit kind of one, one, one-sided so far. We have got Team a poll. Steve, we have got a poll running as well, so we'll uh, share the results of that Been soon. Lit. Been lit. Been uh, lit. <clears throat> we also have a four pound ninety nine super chat. Half the, half the challenge here is working out which currency everything is. So, <laughs> from uh, from right, the one that got me was Swedish krona. Krona. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, this is four Great British pounds with ninety nine pennies attached. <laughs> uh, from Bertie's Bonanza, saying, "Love your work, guys." 
What are your tips for creating a Black Templars Firestorm Assault, uh, assault Force for UKTC games that's fun to play? Do you want to cover that in first hand? Yes. Yeah, I'll so come we will back come to back that, to that uh, one. during turn but, one, yeah. Good question. Uh, James Hobbs, uh, 199, with a gesticulating finger. I'm not quite sure what it's doing, <laughs> but it doesn't appear to be rude. It is red, though. Um, <clears throat> and Primal <laughs> War Frog has donated $5 for a sweet cam. Uh, she says sweat cam fund. Sorry, I say for a sweat cam fund. Need a camera focused on players' foreheads. Oh. Whenever a one is rolled, critical charge, etc. Let's go, handsome boys. I like it. Five on the case. That's why I wear a hat. Sweatless. So you just catches and then, it here. Just to make sure that Steve doesn't have all the love, uh, James Hobbs, five pound super chat. Tiny hands mean more fingers can fit in. <laughs> Votan for the win. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. That is true. If you are putting gloves on, I can imagine you yeah. accidentally put two fingers in one finger hole. Yeah. Or equally, if you're asked in the supermarket, do you mind holding this for me? And yeah. you go, wow, that is a big watermelon. You do. Oh, I, I assumed it was for yeah. placing models in transports. So, uh... Potentially. Who knows? Yeah. Fingers. So, I'm not going to smash any of the... I don't want to try it, just in case. These aren't mine, you see. They're not, no. no. Right, so getting on to the mission, we're going to be playing the round one from the Las Vegas Open. And that is the Crucible of Battle... This is it, we're at the Crucible, we're also using the LVO, or the Frontline Gaming and Vanguard Tactics terrain, which looks beautiful, the Adeptus Sororitas style kind of vibe, it's got that Sisters of Battle, it looks awesome, you can get it from the link in the description below if you want to get a set like this. Now, Crucible Battle, priority target, so that means both players will score five points at the start of their command phases, starting from turn two onwards, five points for each objective, up to a maximum of 10 and at the end of the game you get five points jake for each objective you control it's not like we've played this mission a million times in no. ktc so it's good to see they're warming us in with something we know yeah keeping it familiar <laughs> and it's chilling rain because it's the uk well it's um, well it's vegas yes it's vegas so. it's chilly yeah yeah all right so that's the mission yeah we're both playing tactical i am playing tactical because we don't want to tilt anybody in the chat no, I also just think my army just plays it way better. Oh. Naturally. Okay. Yeah. All right, so let's get on with this okay. without any further... Oops. Is it a do or a ju... A ju, a ju, a ju what is it? A do. A do. A do. Yeah, a no, not a ju means goodbye or farewell. Yeah. Ah, okay, yeah. cool, cool, cool. All right, so let's do this then. All right. I'm going to roll. You're going to roll? This Vanguard Tactics dice. All right then. That I found. Treat yourself. Okay. Ow. Was a six. Didn't really want that. Well, I'll roll it as well then. Okay. You rolled a six. Well, maybe that's a good thing. If you roll it and get a six. I rolled a one. Sweat cam. Sweat cam. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get nervous. Okay, so we can get rid of these deployment lines. Yeah. But Jakey boy, you need to do your scout moves first. <laughs> Thank you. That's so kind. Um, so uh, good luck with that. Can you just clarify for us, Jake, exactly how many scout moves you have? Because I think it's quite a lot. I have isn't nine it? scout moves because I've got nine units that scout move. I've got three units of bikes go nine inches, and all the Sagittarius go six. Okay. So put in perspective, I've got ten things on the table, and nine of them are about to move. <laughs> so probably best if you just put the top down. Well, I'll tell you what. While you do that, I'll answer that question. Oh yeah, right? you do that then. So, um, it may not be a, a question about running Black Templars in a Firestorm detachment. Well, you really want to lean into the guns because you only get your plus one strength with ranged attacks uh, when you get within a certain distance, which I believe is 12. And then also, um, all of your weapons become assault. So, a lot of the stratagems are well. There's, I think, there's one that's really involving at the combat phase, but. Typically what you're looking for is, you know, lots of the Crusader squads, I would say. Um, MSU style, that's going to perform really, really well. Crusaders with like a multi-melter and a melter gun. I think you can get a melter pistol on those squads. Putting those guys, um, you know, in things like Land Raider Redeemers, um, in Repulsors, because you also want some heavy duty units as well, such as uh, the... Um, I really like the Centurions. I think they're fantastic. Three of those in the Land Raider. If somebody shoots your Land Raider, then you can get out and basically shoot whatever just shot you for one command point, which is great. There's also enhancement to ignore modifiers. That's also pretty crucial on, for example, a unit of Sword Brethren with Hellbrecht, because um, you'd need to then also put a Lieutenant in that, so you've got a bit of a combat punch too. So a couple of combat units, and then majority though, is gonna be coming from those shooting weapons. Hmm? Yeah, I'll do that after his scout moves. All right. Yeah, so you do your scout moves, and then I get to pick my lovely people to give no-nay points to. Hmm, nice. 
So we've got quite a few people in the chat already. I see uh, Mandy's in the chat. Uh, she's asked for a uh, asked if we can wear GoPros to get that kind of first person uh, view. I'll do uh, it. Hey, we've got a GoPro. Uh, do we need GoPro? I would rather not because I get motion sickness way too easily watching the camera bob around. Imagine like me uh, with little. That one of these little spinner hats for this you, you, could, you, could, you could have it on top of your head yeah, yeah. We, I'd have to wear it in the centre of my chest but yeah, yeah. Like, a, like a security officer <laughs> what are you doing here lad I would well, make a know. terrible security officer are you supposed to be it yeah, uh, okay. yeah so army with the tiniest legs everything doing a scout move well done yeah I like that alright I'm done it's not about how big your legs are it's about how big your heart and, is and uh, Josh Burdine in the chat member for 14 hey, months Josh uh, it says, yo, gent, stoked to see everyone in Vegas and get through another great workshop. Workshop's great. Mm -hmm. uh, Jake, I thought your Votan were yellow. They look great, mate. They are yellow, but I've very kindly... Borrowed... Added some blue to it and it's become green. Um, yeah, something like that. Uh, yeah, I, yeah. When, when I borrowed Chris's Votan, they all just sort of <laughs> decided to love each other. So now <laughs> I've made green Votan. Mm. Um, now, I've, I've been... Uh, my, friend, my other friend, Chris, ironically, he's very kindly lent me his because mine's still a bit worse for wear and needs some laser repairs and stuff. And to be honest, I'm also thinking about repainting it. So Probably good. he's let me... No, that's very mean. That's, I'm, that's, I'm, that's I'm called in... hobby shaming. No one, no one likes us. So that's why I've got all the green ones, because then it makes it all easier. And also because no, we've got to be because coherent. you've got some repairs to do. No. And it's normally quite no, a good No, it's because you hate me and you don't like me. Repaint your army. No, no. No. Oh. Right. He's so mean. No wonder no one so, likes I'm, us. I am us. very mean to Jake. That is true. Yeah. Yeah. He once told me like. Well, you're not really the only one being mean to said, Jake. No, I'm not. <laughs> and Mandy's been mean to Jake as well. She says, so "Someone taller than Jake, please. We don't need to see everyone's midsection." And you're not seeing me. You're seeing my. The whole idea is we put it on the top of my head. I think that's. I think that's the point. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm. I'm six foot. <laughs> What are you laughing at? You're only about 5'2". <laughs> <laughs> Gee, some people... Yeah. I, I don't know when it's picking the Bully Jake stream, but uh, I, oh, I, I'm, I'm on board people for want it to put Every, Everybody's people, enjoying hey, it. Hey, I'm, I'm not going to yeah. lie. If people want to see Super Chat to bully me, please do it. Carry at the on. end of the day, you're paying me. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, right, I get to put some judgment tokens on. What is that tubby man doing on top of that Land Raider? Well, he's in there. Can he go in there? Yeah. I didn't know that. Um, right, so I'm going to put tubs one. inside a tubby. No, no, do not touch me, Dice. I'll put one there. Or is this your easy um, get a million CP? Yeah. Is it? yeah. Right, okay, got it, yeah. Um, but then watch like me not kill them. Uh, I'll Have put one on this one. Yeah. One on this one. Yeah. And then do I put it on the Centurions or do I put it on the Aggressors? Hmm. Hmm. What's well, more likely to kill something and just get judgment tokens anyway? Probably the Centurions. Well, both units are pretty good. No, I know, but like this unit like, can easily kill a Sagittar, whereas that maybe is a bit more effort. Maybe. So, is there a big unit of Sword Brothers here? No, only fives, mate. You've only got fives? Yeah, and they're all currently hidden, by the way. And so. where's Hellbretch? Oh, he's, he's in here. He's in here, currently. So... I'm going to put them on the aggressors. Good shout, good shout. Okay, so they're both... Because the other thing is means it means I can shoot back at you as and well. And that's in the Redeemer. Yeah, okay. that's fine. Cool, cool, cool. Right. So, so just for the benefit of chat there, so you've picked uh, one of the units of scouts up yep, front here. for some easy VPs early on. Yeah. Both land raiders. Yep, and the Biologus team with the aggressors. The, 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 the big unit of aggressors. Yep, awesome. cool. Yep. cool. All right. Right, so um, that's it. So start. So then, yeah, if you want to go to the top down and stuff. Oh, actually, I'll do my cards. Do your cards, and then we're going to have a quick word from our sponsor, yeah. yeah. Uh, behind enemy lines. Yep. Good. Host storm, hostile objectives. I cannot do it turn one, so I have to redraw it. Yep. And that gets me defend stronghold, which I can't do turn one. <laughs> and then I get tempting target. <laughs> so yeah. pick an objective. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, uh, what should I tempt you with? Let's tempt you with... Uh, what's your OC of your bikes? Uh, two each. Right, so the middle one then. Okay. Let's tempt you with that one. Okay. Cool. cool. All right, yeah, if you do the sponsor stuff and then you're good. But before we continue, I'd like to give a quick shout out to our sponsor, The Outpost. If you're looking for a great deals on your miniatures, paints and gaming supplies, we've got you covered. Their wide variety of exceptional service makes them the go-to destination for all hobby needs. So don't wait, check out The Outpost today. Link in the description below. All right. Well, it sounds well, like uh, your your you've your voice has deepened, Seb. <laughs> I have arrived. You've arrived, and and the studio is better for it. 
Oh, well, thank you, Chris. I, Kato Sakara, sorry, Mike, have arrived to commentate on this game. Chris, what's going on? They've only just started. Yeah, well, we, we've we've been taking a mick out of um, out of Jake for most most of the last kind of 20 oh, minutes good. or so, which has good. been quite a lot of fun. Yeah, so they, they're, they're set up. Uh, I believe we're in Jake's turn one. He's done all the scout moves. He's put his judgment tokens on some land raiders, some scouts for some easy points up here. Uh, and I think the unit of aggressors. So we are, we are. Well, you arrived just in time to see the action. Yeah. Now I was saying to Jake earlier that I'm really keen to watch this because um, I have quite a big Votan army, mm-hmm. um, and I've played a few games with it. And uh, you know, I I know how the game works. Yeah. Um, and I've been deeply unimpressed with okay. with the army. <laughs> However, everybody else seems to be having really good results in it. So there's obviously a gap between what I'm doing with the army and the mm. results. So for me this is going to be quite interesting to see the army run properly as yes. opposed to what I've been doing which is probably just uh, aggressively well far too aggressively trading. D- yeah, potentially. Yeah. Potentially, yeah. I, I mean it's kind yeah. of oh, thank you sir. You. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of um there's almost kind of one build really with Votan at the moment, isn't there, which is these six sagittar um because they're very efficient for their points de- 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 definitely yeah and um it, it, i suppose it, it's the old adage of you know anyone can copy a list off the internet which is what i've done to to, to this point is Look, seen the list that, that, that's, that's, well seen the list that's done well put it on the table and just have shocking results so there's a difference yeah. between copying a good list and understanding a list mm. and uh hopefully that's what i'll get out of today yeah, absolutely. And, and Jake's been running Votan for a while. He's run the Sagittars, quickly identified, of course, that they were one of the probably the They're most efficient <laughs> units after the points decreases in the last update. Um, what's interesting here is we can see how aggro the army can be because of all of those scout moves. It's a lot of pressure, isn't it? Um, like the entire army scout moves. Yeah, I think, I think he said he had 10 units on the table and nine of them were scout moving. That's crazy, absolutely crazy. Um, how is it going, chat? What's our What's our latest poll? Black Templars to win sixty six percent. Oh, well, fair enough. Fair okay, enough. I mean, a bit of early days. Well, we've seen them a couple of times on the channel, um, and uh, yeah, Sigismund's in chat. Sigismund is in chat. Sigismund's in chat. Says Emperor bless you. I, I'm presumably that's to that's to Seb sneezing. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Let's see what's happening at the table. So I think they're ready for us. I'm all good. Right, I did some me. Oh, sorry. sorry Steve. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> no, right, nah. I've done some movement. Last see. minute maneuvers. Yeah. Hold on, we do have a super chat. It's just come in. It's just come in. So Kenny Giles has just said, Steve, I wanted to say, as a kid who struggled with both weight and humiliation for my hobbies, you're an absolute inspiration. Thank you all. Thank you very much, mate. Oh. I mean, that, honestly, yeah, it means a lot. It really, really does. Thank you so much. And then Steve just makes fun of me for my hobbies and all my things. <laughs> That's all right. You're his employee. He's allowed to make fun of you. There's a poster over there that says Technically, that. I'm, I'm his friend. We have a health and safety poster. Take it up the back. <laughs> yeah, I'm so glad we finally got one. No, no, we didn't finally get one. In this case, you work for the government. Um, so I've done my movement. So move my bikes up here. They're OC2 each, so I've managed to out-OC this. Great. Which, it, to be honest, I just want all the objectives. Right. He's gone from all. So... Then I've got tempting. So I've got my tempting target. Put a Sagittar here. These are not on the table. They're just inside the Sagittar. Yeah. Um, and then they've just got line of sight on that land raider. This one's got line of sight on that land raider over there. And then I've got my five warriors out. Out OC there. Also has sticky objectives. Something Steve told me while we're moving. LVO is playing it, so you can't sticky objectives turn one. Or well, Ben Jones texts me that. So. Well, whatever Ben says is probably right, to be honest. Yeah. Um. So I won't. Which is the whole reason I put these warriors here. Didn't but you that. wouldn't sticky this anyway, right? But that no, would no, sticky no, but, for next but turn. But it would have been my five warriors yeah. here would have stickied. Yeah. Um. So hopefully, fingers yeah. crossed, we can do that. Um. So I'm going to do some shooting. So we're going to start with the bikes. And if anybody's wondering what sticky objectives means, it means basically in the command phase it comes under your control and it's going to remain under your control even if you left it okay and we just call it sticky like it's stuck to you and why is this st- i don't know sticky yeah. well, it is because it's yours yeah i think they could have been a better name but anyway yeah. it could have been a lot of things in 40k with better names i quite like um, sticky but oh sorry we're, we're talking about 40k um, <laughs> so um so i'm going to shoot my bikes yeah at the scouts is there anything you want to do not die. Okay, so freeze to hit. So this is the two damage weapons because they're two wounds each now, aren't they? They are, mate, yeah. Okay, so five hits. Strength seven with plus one to wounds, so twos. Five at minus one. Easy. And they seek Gnaw's cover. 
five ups, baby, all day long. And they're all dead. <laughs> so, <laughs> I get three command points in my next command phase. So much skill. Oh, I the tiger. It, yeah. it, is, it, is it three in your next command phase yeah. for, for getting it in turn, turn two? one or two, yeah. Okay, that, that's a lot of command points. Yeah, it also presumes that you can kill something before your first command phase. I'm like, I don't know who you think you are. But... Right, so now what we're going to do is shoot this Sag um We'll come back over there because there's potential some Sagittars could shoot some Land Raiders. Okay, but then. We're going to do this Sagittar into this Land Raider. So I'm going to start with the Beam Cannon. Uh, okay, what's your what's your AP? It's AP3 and you are getting cover. So it's AP2 at the moment. Yeah, so and you can how make... how many can see it? Only two. Only two? Because this one can because we said... In the and how many one. can see here? Uh, two. Only two. And I'm less likely to get covered. And here. I do have plus one to hit and wound on all of this as well. Uh, can that one see? I don't know. I don't even know if they're in range, actually. It's 24 inch range. This one might not be able to because of the terrain. Oh, is that not? You'd have to. Uh, what is that terrain? Uh, it'll be line of sight blocking, wouldn't it? I didn't know if it was. I yeah. Know. I was so we'll way. just move it a bit because you had a bit more. No, no, no. I, my intention was for him to shoot the scouts. So oh, if okay. I haven't moved him properly, that's fine. Oh, okay, no worries. Um, and you could you overkill the scouts? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it. So, I, well, so originally then, it was all just going to shoot the scouts. So one here, then in two there. Yeah. Okay, so I will armor of contempt onto that lamp on the lamp I'm shooting two at. Yes. Okay, so let's do that one then first. So yeah. First Sagittar, hit on freeze, one hit. Yeah. Toughness. Uh, 12. So freeze to wound because I get plus one to wound. Let's take 12. One wound, this will be at minus one after cover and so Three up save. save. Yep. Cool. Loves it. Um, and then might as well shoot the bolter at you. Mm -hmm. Why not? Freeze with sustains. Yep. Uh, fives. One wound, no AP. Loves it. And then next Sagittar. Mm -hmm. Oh, nothing. I don't get, I'll never get a six of these. Uh, and then bolter. Oh, there we go. Not on the wrong dice. Fives. Nothing. Okay. Right, and then final Sagittar at the Lamb Raider. We have an armor contempted, and then that's me done. All right, so then, sir. Beam cannon. Oh, nearly. Couple of beams. Freeze. Two wounds, minus three. So um, that one will go through, that one won't. Minus two. Yeah, so um, D6 damage. Uh, so five damage. And then. Suit you, sir. Yeah, and then. Uh, Suit you. Heavy bolter. Please don't hit me. Uh, and then a heavy bolter. Uh, four hits. Um, Fives. One wound at minus one. Hang on a minute. How many wounds have we got? 16. Minus five. So you're down to 11. Is 11. And you need one more save at minus one. No problem, sir. And that's two damage. Okay. Yay. Is that a twin link to those heavy bolters? I don't know if you Oh, yeah, they are. I only got one. I only got one hit, didn't I? Oh, no, I got, I got four hits. Sorry, chat's got just coming with that. One wound, minus one. One more. Thank you, chat. I always forget they have the twin link. Do I owe you any more saves here with the twin link? No, it wouldn't have mattered. Should I roll another two? It, you, you have a two up save, it doesn't matter, because okay. I'm still winning your fives. All right then. Um, cool, so that's that. So end of my turn, I'll get tempting target for five, and then I'll get, I'm gonna ditch behind enemy lines for a command point. All right, and I'll get a command point. I'm and going to my turn one. Bin lid people, turn one. Mm, I've got some thinking to do. I need to think about yeah, if so I'm gonna- So I'm gonna be gonna... up to three command points now. Oh, I need to do an oath of moment. I need to do some sort of doctoring. Well, you don't have to. <laughs> kind of do. Do it, Doc. No, you don't, you don't have yeah, to. Yeah, kind of do, yeah. Oh, something I will note as well. I did have my Hearthguard and Car were in, in Deep Strike, and my two little units of um, five not very good warriors are in Strat Reserve. So they can just waddle on and potentially investigate a signal war. Waddle on bravely. Yeah. Yes. No, they, they stride on. And they're little, like... All right, do you want to... Um, I need to Oath of Moment a target. I will Oath of Moment... Uh... Sagittars? <laughs> Which uh, Sagittar? Uh, Roll a D6. Also, <laughs> also Steve, if, you're, if your scouts are six inches away from his bikes, you can pick them up if you want to as well, at the end of, and the end of his turn. Yeah, they are Isn't not... it six of the edge? Uh, no, no, that, 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 that's your guys, I think. Yeah, that's, that's your guys. <laughs> that, 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 that's your bikers, yeah. No, I just assumed all the rules. <laughs> what's, in, the what's in here? That, is that empty now? Uh, yeah, that one's empty. Okay. So the warriors that were in that one have got out. Do you want to meet and then they can all chat? That sounds yeah. good to me. I think that sounds me. good, so you can have a think. All right, so Ron Tastic has been a member for 21 months. Hi, Michael. Glad you joined us. I can't wait to see how you and your ninja gene stealers can beat Steve and his Black Templars. Um, thank you. Uh, glad to be here. I don't actually know when the last time I played Gene Seeders was. Um, um, I think it may have been... It was probably against... Against Jake's mm. Grey Knights ages ago, I think. 
No, it, it, Dune Sealers when you were playing Tyranids. Sure, surely it was when we did our oh, Starship Troopers right, thing. Oh, right, yes. I mean, I mean, we played uh, Imperial Guard and... Oh, yes, yes, yes. I mean, I did play against the Black yeah. Templars with Tyranids, and I had a squad of Gene Sealers in gotcha. there. So I see. I, I assume that was it. I assume that because yes. I don't think I've ever seen you play Gene Sealer cults. N- n- once. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Although yeah, I believe they, I believe their codex is on the roadmap. So you know, f- fingers crossed. Maybe you'll play them again soon. Oh, maybe yeah. that could be tasty. Uh, James with a B, member for six months. Handsome Jake versus versus buttery biscuit box. What a treat. Ooh. Thanks for everything last year, Team VT. Looking forward to more this year. You are so welcome. 2024 is going to be great. I mean, it is great. It's great so except, far. Except We're for the trains. 10 days um, in or some nine days in. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see what LVO brings and yeah. what these codexes bring. I, I've not had a beer in 10 days. Can you You've believe not had that? A beer in 10 I know. Days. Oh, this good this job, is shocking. Shocking. Good job, Chris. Yeah. Well, no, I didn't, I was not, I'm not limiting it to beer. Yes. Oh, to be fair, no, to be fair I've had no alcohol. <laughs> I uh, got, got a quick check uh, question. So what oath did Steve take for his BTs? Steven's actually running the Gladius Task Force. So there are no oaths to be had, just the oaths of moment. Wait, I see what you did there. I see what you did. He doesn't have a librarian. And there is no librarian. So everyone that so was we angry can't hate him. on him for that. Um, I was not here for the list. Is this what what's changed in the list since last time? Um, I believe there are more sword brethren. Do we I... have a redeemer? He does have a redeemer. He has Do a, you have yeah. a redeemer? Oh, well, we've got the photo there. Fantastic. Six, six aggressors. Six aggressors. Aha. Uh-huh. Lovely. Lieutenant in. Okay. We've got the lieutenant in there as well. Yeah. And Michael, I put Very nice. I got rid of all my Thunderkin, my Forge Man. Oh, yeah. I put in three into the oh, these look pretty good. I mean, we discussed Luthar before. I'm a huge fan of characters running solo. Uh, and punching well above their weight. Uh, so, yes. Yeah, love it. They're cool, aren't they? I mean, th- this is... Uh, I've not actually seen Chris Owen's uh, army before, but uh, it, it, is, it is lovely. And, it is, yeah. You know, the, the thing with it being a relatively recent release, m- model range, is only now you're really starting to see people get getting full armies of them well painted across the table. And yeah. I, I love it. It's, it's like World Eaters. You know, they, they came out mm. and, you know, you have the initial, let's spray paint them red and get them on the table, people. Yep. Uh, I may, may or may not be one of those people. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but but it takes longer to actually see the the kind of really beautiful armies start to materialize. And we're at that point now with Votan. I yes. Think. Yes, we are. Yeah. And uh, long may it continue. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, someone's just said after my first tower army, I keep looking into Votan to change things up. I mean, to be totally honest, there's probably not the biggest change. They have very similar play styles. Um, perhaps they are slightly, slightly better in combat, but only slightly. Yeah. Um, if you know, I, I say this as someone who plays a lot of Tau and also owns a Votan army. Um, they don't give me a, a different type of game mm. to play. You know, you're fundamentally moving into good. P- positions and yeah and ruining your opponent i mean uh shooting aggressively shooting into aggressively your opponent and having a really good game yeah. where you you know you, you make a lot of a lot of friends yeah yes yeah mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so uh the kindred first super chat on a live stream that's awesome uh jake last year we played next to each other at lvo and i let you borrow a carl as you misplaced yours hopefully see you again this year from the kindred, good luck. I, yeah, I remember that as well. And he also told me I played a uh, rule wrong as well. <laughs> 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 which, which, you know what? It was mega helpful because I was so confused about why people were taking a relic on the um, on the hearth guard to let them t- use the strap for free. Because I was like, oh, but it only costs one CP. And he was like, no, it actually costs two. And I was like, mm, thank God I haven't been using that a lot. <laughs> um, so, but yeah, I, no, I really suppose... kind guy. And I will, I, I, do you know what? I'm going to feel really bad. I don't remember your name because it was a year ago. But I do remember that exactly because I lost, because I couldn't find my Carl, had no idea where it was. I probably should have took two cards. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Um, and then he was very kind and said, you can borrow this and just give it back to me after. And I thought that was lovely considering he's never met me before. Tell so. me the target, please. That one. Cool. And uh, deploy teleport homers. Yeah. Which you're definitely doing. <laughs> yeah, I'll do that with the Judas unit. They'll just move yeah, forward. Yeah, because well, you can run and do it anyway, right? Um, yeah, so thank you very much, and I can't wait to see you again. You have to come up and say hello, and well, we'll... I suppose the interesting question is, did you remember to return the Carl after you borrowed it? Yeah, because I instantly found mine. So I was <laughs> like, oh no, here you go. <laughs> 
Yes, I hope so. <laughs> oh no, now I'm all stressed. <laughs> Please tell me I returned your car. I, I feel like we're gaslighting, uh, gaslighting Jacob it tonight. <laughs> really, really cool people. To be fair, everyone I met over there was so lovely. My favourites were the Texas people. They're wild. <laughs> so his name's Dominic. Dominic, um, that's He's got it. a podcast channel, The Kindred. Do you know what, Dominic? Everyone should go listen to The Kindred. There you go. And I will listen to it when I get home. And then when I see you, I'll tell you how much and what I like about your podcast. What I like <laughs> about We can listen to it in a car on the drive home if you like, Jake. <laughs> You'd be surprised. I had someone ask, could I listen to their podcast and tell, me what, tell them what I think? And then I was like, I like it. You've got a very funny name. Uh, Az- Azuma Kazuma has Great super name. chatted. Uh, my good Mr. Box, how do you see... My good Mr. Box, how do you see... How do you see Black Templars coming out of the Jan data slate? Nerf? Same or buffed? Why does he sound like? Why does he sound like James Workshop? <laughs> oh, I, 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 I thought like that was a, Mike trying to do an impression of me. He's a W. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I have you know it means shield in that. <laughs> <Dante. laughs> oh, Dante. Dante. Hey, the man's got a Tesla outside. Like we're the ones that are making fun of him. <laughs> so. so just before we get um, Steve to answer that when he's finished doing his movement, I'm done. Uh, oh, he's done. Well, there you go. I was going to talk about the Necron changes, but we can cover that, we next, do that next, minute, next yeah. movement, please. We don't need um, to talk about it. Right, so, Stephen, my question for you, my good Mr. Box, is how do you see Black Templars coming out of Jan Data Slate? Do you think Black Templars need any changes? I was going to say no. Steve either. can't really comment anyway. So, 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 Chris, what do you think? So, I, I, I can't comment because I haven't got the faintest idea about anything. <laughs> uh, I'm not being... I'm not... Not saying anything just to be annoying, but I just can't. No, you're, he's, he, he, to be clear, he is contractually not allowed to say anything um, to the degree of no one else knows what he knows. So it's very frustrating for me. Yes. Yeah. Um, so in my, opi- in my well, opinion, well. I think mm-hmm. Space Marines are in a pretty good place in general. Um, I think all of the chapters are relatively viable to a greater or lesser degree. Yeah. Um, I think overall they don't need to be nerfed or buffed, or but I always like to see some internal balance address i'd I'd like to see the elements of the codex which are perhaps not you know overly viable at the moment um get get some adjustments and you know i this i certainly shouldn't be playing nine inceptors in my list because i I like the fluff um so they could potentially take a an adjustment well i would like to see hellbreak go up to 300 points i think that would be i think steve might cry um (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> 45. <laughs> in the right. Post. It's right. in the post. So, uh, go again, on, go the on, Americans have been provided. Um, what have some, you done? I'm going to do some Ave watching quickly because we went a bit quicker than everyone's talking. So, Sagittar's going to shoot the Land Raider because I've got sustained D3 on these. So, I'm Ooh. thinking if I get a six, I know it's like not a big chance, but it could make a big deal. Oh, my. You're also swimming in CP. I am, yeah. Literally drowning. Right, ready? Oh, yes, right, I got it. Oh, no. Oh, no, Steve. Right, so D3 extra hits. D2. So I get three hits. Um, toughness? 12. So freeze. Okay, I only get one free. Minus three. CP reroll. No, I'm not going to. No, I'm not going to anger it. I'm not going to anger him more. Um, D6 damage? Five damage. And then. <laughs> Don't uh, forget those bolters. Uh, yeah, and then I'll get the twin bolters. Okay, I missed them all, thank God. <laughs> Steve loves being overwatched. It's very instructive. <laughs> Do you get your CPs in your next command My phase? My next command phase, not now. So I've got, the reason I was up to three is because yes, I ditched the card. Ditched and ditched the card, you got it. Yeah, yeah, cool, 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 cool. So in fact, if I don't spend these, I'll be up to five. Oh, very nice. Okay, so what I've decided to do here, just my movement phase, I've put five scouts onto here. I've oath of moment this target here. Um, and then also I have, what, how much OC have you got in here? 10, Ten. at the moment. Okay, I'm not and they are that. bin lid head people. And that is the tempting target. Um, so yeah, just everything else is, I'm in the gla- um, Dead Devastated Dead. Doctrine. So that's why I've advanced with a lot of my units. The, uh, the Tubbies, the Centurions got out of the rain, Land Raider and advanced. They've moved on to the objective. And I'm going to open up with uh, this unit here. I'm glad you're opening up. Yeah, I'm going to open up with the Centurions, mm. and they're going to shoot this. Ufar's 
wagon. Yeah, Ufar's wagon, yeah. This G wagon. Okay, so we've got <laughs> three, um, three, yes. Centurions with last cannons. Last yes. cannons? Yes. 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 yes, yes, yes. I'm thinking of another. Yeah, sorry, I'm going <laughs> to oaf this if that's okay. Because there's no point in this. Yeah, I was oaf thinking that. that. Yeah, yeah that's fine. I was These very guys we roll anyway, but. Okay, so we've got three hits. Yeah. And uh, toughness? Uh, ten. Three. You're re rolling wounds. Twin link. Yeah. yeah. Three at minus three. So uh, six ups. Uh, all failed. It's dead. It's dead. Who could have ever predicted that? Um, so you get a judgment token. You get a judgment uh, token. And then that's six, going in the book. Six dudes inside. Uh, all fine. Do, do, right, do, do, so do, do, getting do. them out. Do, do, do. Three inches. So. so Ufar could fit in the building, but the berserkers can't. Okay. So what I'll do, I'll put Ufar in the building. And the berserkers just stand outside, yep. Yeah. And then they'll just all... I'll put them on... I know I'm battle-shocked, but... Yeah, sure. Okay. Because you're probably just going to pepper me, aren't you? Probably, yeah. Um, do, 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 do. Oh, poor Hulk Hogan's <laughs> children, as Seb named them. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's quickly shoot them and get them off the table. Um, so, so, did, so did your uh, Sagittar explode? Oh, we didn't actually see. No. no. Now you're exploding, because Steve will then have a meltdown. Right, okay, so, 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 so. Five guys there. Right. <coughs> we'll go next with the... Hmm, where shall I go next? They are really yellow, aren't they? Very yellow, sir. Yeah. Very yellow. Oh, hi. Oh, very I've yellow. I have actually noticed them before, but they're so yellow. Maybe I'll have to, maybe I'll have to put a wash on them. Right, I'll okay, go with this um, Land Raider here. I'll put everything into these bikes. Okay. That's really mean. <laughs> and actually, you are minus one to hit, though. Actually, actually, actually. I'll go into this one here. Okay, you are still minus one to hit, though, because you're bracketed. At the point of firing, yeah, because yeah. of stupid Overwatch. Right, cool. That's two hits. Very good. Uh, toughness 10. One wound, sir. Uh, AP. AP 3. So six up. All failed. D6 plus one damage. Very good. Seven. I'm down to two. Cool. The multi melter. One hit. Ooh. And. One oh, wound. it does a wound. AP 4. Uh, so I don't get saved, so that would just kill me. Is it? Oh, no. Oh, I blow, no blowing, and um, you've got maximum judgment on you. Cool, cool, cool. Um, right, quite like popping. Right, so you've called house. four and five, so you've got to kill. <laughs> <laughs> you've got to kill. I shouldn't have had a six and a nine one. <laughs> Ask Chris. Uh, I'm going to go next with the guy here, and he's going to put everything into there. And that's the redeemer. That's the redeemer, yeah. Okay. Good, the flamers. Okay. Uh, actually, no, this has to kill the bikes, so onto the bikes. What has to kill the bikes? The Redeemer. Mm, okay, if, if you say so. Yep, yeah. because <laughs> uh, that's within nine as well, so that'll get with the Melter rule. Yeah. So yeah, the Redeemer into the bikes. Okay. I do have a quick super chat from Grimdark Ash. Finished the Academy content last night and cannot recommend it enough. Looking forward to implementing it at the LVO and also looking forward to the workshop and the call. I Thank you and that. see you next week. I can't wait to see Ash again. I really liked meeting yeah. him at Leicester. Thanks so much, mate, for that. And congratulations for completing all the Academy content. That is no easy feat. It is not. <laughs> a is hero not. is you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> congratulations, mate. Yeah, that was awesome. And I can't wait for the workshop. So, yeah, we'll be hanging out in Vegas in literally... In the barbecue place. Yeah, in the barbecue place. Yeah. Oh, no, It'll we'll be, be awesome. at the workshop first, but then we'll get to the barbecue place. Mm. Or right. we can just go straight there. Oh, you, you've now just made me even more jealous of not being there. Cause, cause... Well, Steve has tickets still. Oh, Jay jumped on know, the plane. I know, but I can't. Just stop it. Stop it, Jay. Stop it. <laughs> just pull a sickie, Chris. It'll be fine. <laughs> just pull a sickie. Live on air. <laughs> It'll be fine. Just pull a uh, sickie. They, they were from your work watching this. <laughs> Actually, I used to say that, and then someone from my work does watch this. So. You'd be surprised. There are nerds everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm surrounded by them. Yeah. So, um, right. Redeemer, bikes. Especially when they come in fancy chats. Um, <laughs> and then Redeemer, bikes, hunter killer here. Mm -hmm. Toughness? 10. Okay, so yeah, everything there, but the hunter killer will go into this Sagittar. Okay. okay. So we'll kick off with the hunter killer. It hits. It does not wound. Uh, then the multi melters into the bikes. One hit. Does. Toughness 6. No. 
uh, Flamers. Oh, this has Ooh, been a bad round of bad, shooting. Bad, Stevie. This has been a bad round of shooting oh, here. No, Stevie Wonder. Uh, what strength is it? Toughness. Six. Uh, six. Six, so five, please. AP2, no cover. So six ups. And how much damage is this? Two, Two each. So I'll go on normal bikes and then end on the rotary cannon. All right, treat yourself. Uh, so one normal bike and one's on the wound. That was a good save, wasn't it? So then we've got the uh, bolt guns. Two hits, one wound, no AP. Uh, uh, do I get covered? No, it doesn't even matter. And uh, then the assault cannon. The insult cannon. Okay, looking for some sixes for some devastating wounds. One devastating wound, please. Cool. Right, so it that's twin that. linked. Oh, thank you, sir. One more save. Uh, AP. Uh, nothing. And I get cover. Yes. I'm okay. Because I have a four at base. All right then. Cool, cool, cool. So this land raider's done everything. These guys have done everything. It's just these guys left to do now. Uh, I still out OC you here. Uh, yes, because I'm OC two. Two, and I'm OC five. So I'm that's kind of very good. okay with that actually. Um, then this unit of aggressors, I'm going to put three into here, yeah. into the Berserk. Four into the Berserkers. Okay. Two into the Sagittar. Okay. No, so two into the bike, four into the Berserkers. Okay, so you're not going to shoot the Sagittar. No. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Right, so we've got, um, will I get a judgment token if I kill something? Yeah. So you, you then will. get plus one to hit? Yeah, and potentially plus one a wound if you kill both units. Ooh. Oh my. Okay. That might be a reason then not to shoot the bike. No, Steve. Shoot the bike. <laughs> it's been bugging you off. <laughs> <laughs> Four aggressors into the Berserkers, two into the Sagittar. Okay. But you won't get the extra AP into the Sagittar. No. Because it's not the closest target. No, I won't. No. Oh, well. It's just part of it, isn't it? Yeah. Can you, Chris, Do what's I... the save of a Berserker? I know they have a five that feel no pain, but I don't know. And they are two wounds each, my little tubs. Two? They're two wounds each? Yeah. Oh, not my guy. It's okay. Don't panic, everyone. No, yeah. They're two wounds each? Yeah. Look at them. Mm -hmm. Well, don't look at them too. They have a six-up save, so I won't get an armor save from... Toughness? You. Five. Ooh, it's one uh, of fives. Maybe five? I think it's five. They are T5, yeah. six-up save, two wounds. Pain. I'm just, what? I'm going to put the whole unit in. What, into the Berserkers? Yeah. Yeah, go on. <laughs> Is it but the only thing is I can take him off the table because he is with... Oh no, he's outside six. My bad. He's not. So I can't take him off the table. Right, so this is the aggressors into... And are you going to use any straps, anything? No, I'm going to save my CPs. Yeah. Yeah. So um, threes to hit, six is a special. So they're lethal. And, and sustained. So I'll just put these. So, oh, I was going to say don't worry about that. And then we've got... Uh, times five. These are twin linked, are mm -hmm. they? Twin linked, yep. Do, 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 do. No. Okay, Three tubs. Uh, five, 10, 13 <laughs> saves, please. I'm gonna do my impression of Steve. So, won't roll that. <laughs> so, no AP. Uh, so five up, turn of pain. Uh, you got six up, save first. Um, there's, it's AP one. AP one. Because they're the closest. Uh, you've just killed them, exactly. Cool. Very sad. <laughs> Judgment token for you. Okay, so cool, 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 cool. Hulk Hogan's favorite models. All right, so um, that's so sad. They did barely got to see the light of yellow. That is the shooting phase. We're into the charge phase now. Mm -hmm. This land raider will charge onto here. Did it advance? This didn't. No. Oh, that's right then. Because I wanted to uh, make a charge. That's good. With you. Six. So am I within it's seven? Six is to the wall, then yeah, seven yeah. will get. Cool. Get so you I'm just gonna, range, so. But yeah, basically, just with this model here, okay. I'm not going to do a huge amount. It's just to put me. You're not going to tank shot. Put my bottom onto the objective. Ooh, tank shot could be a shout, actually. But What's your it's, AC? It's five. So how many models so do you need have to kill? You'd have to kill two models. I get a six up. You only kill three, right? Because no, they're OC2 each? Yes. Yeah. Sorry, yes, yeah, so you need to kill three. And how many wounds are they? One. I have a six up for no pain. And I'm rolling yeah. eight dice? Uh, ten dice, because it'd be plus two. Oh, unless it's strength six. Because this is my tempting target. Is it isn't strength it? six? Or is it strength, strength eight? Strength eight. So, yeah, you'll get ten dice. And it'll be every five up, so on average, you should get. I mean, it's worth it for tempting four, target, I think. And then I should save one. So, yeah, so either way, Definitely three should it. die. Yeah. 
There's a reason why you don't put your models within an inch of the wall, Jim. You can't block off. Charging. Yeah, LVO, mate. Oh, so it makes no difference. So uh, have that. <laughs> Here we go. I know a rule Michael didn't, mate, because Steve told me five minutes before he walked through the door. <laughs> Yeah, you can't yeah, be charged yeah. by a land raider. Cool. Yeah, just, just be more it, than it, an inch. It, it still works. It's, 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 it's a land raider. It's not going to make a difference because <laughs> I whiffed it. Yay, <laughs> two. I won as alive. Oh, but now this is the ultimate question. Who do you kill? Um, Who do I I'll kill? I'll call the medic. Okay, cool. Useless. Uh, He's as useless before. Do I charge the scouts in to that bike? And give them a judgment token. No, I'm good, thanks. <laughs> okay, cool. So combat phase here. Yeah. He'll just pile so into Why you resolve that? Sorry, we've got a super chat. John Callahan, looking for a new Space Marine army. Raven, Guard, Salamanders, Blood Angels. But I definitely want a Primark. Please help from the best team. Yeah, that is fine. God bless. I mean, there's only one correct answer, isn't there? Yeah. Obviously. We'll come back to it, though, in the move shot phase. Since Steve's nearly done with All his turn. It's fives. One wound from a normal bin lid. And then uber bin lid. Two hits. Bin lid power. No, nothing. Sad bin lid noises. Mm. <laughs> Bin lids are the um, the warriors, by the way, the Votan warriors. It's the whole army, technically. <laughs> so, what was the question? Uh, the question was looking for a new space marine army, Raven Guard, Salamanders, or Blood Angels, <laughs> but I definitely want a Primark. Please oh, help goodness. from the best team. I mean, Blood Angels, I'm afraid you're well out of luck on the Primark front. It's a bit unfortunate, oh. that one, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> you can read about that. Well, there's, <laughs> if you want a Primark, then you've got two options that is Ultramarines and that is Dark Angels. Well, well, let's not be so hasty. We'll, we'll, we'll come back yeah. to our law discussion in, uh, in your next movement phase. Technically, it's all subjective. Like, yeah. if some of them are dead. Oh, you mean like Vulcan like... technically probably is alive. Vulcan lives. Vulcan um, is alive. Oh, you mean like, I thought you meant as in... Currently. You want to play that. right now and you want to have a Primark in your army. Well, there's only two. Well, that may be what they meant, but we've chosen to expand it to make it a more, you a more exciting them. discussion. <laughs> you could convert them, though. Like, could. just use them as other things. That's what you seem to do with every model. I just convert side. every model, yeah. yeah. Mostly out of the same model. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah. Hellbrecht is like, you've bought Hellbrecht probably about enough times to make a unit of Hellbrecht. Yeah. So, we had a whiffer over here. Nobody died. Unfortunately, you still have got that objective. Mm. That did not go well. Oh, right. Cool, cool, cool. Um, your cool. turn, my friend. So, sorry, at the end of your turn... I'm going to take my bikes off the table okay, cool. here, and I'm going to take the bikes off the table here. Okay, cool. Is, um, is that we've got to be a certain distance away from me, though? No, just within six of the board edge. Oh, that's good. I believe. Just double check. All so right. Steve, um, at the end of your turn, so you've not scored tempting target, but did you deploy a teleporter? I, I did, for three. For three, thank oh. you. Yeah. Um, all right, so start of my turn. I'm going to ditch tempting target. So start of my turn, I'm going to get four command points, putting me up to six, because I get plus three and then the one for, because it doesn't say about that. Um, and then I get um, 10 points on primary. Yeah. I do sticky both of these objectives. Mm hmm. Thank you, sir. And then, cards wise, I'll get engage in all fronts and bring it down. So, it's pretty possible. That is very possible. You give me a battle shock check on your bike, though. Yes, I do. Leadership 7. I'm okay. Oh, it's okay. Cool. Um, yeah. Just I was initially thinking then, oh, you failed it. And then I'm thinking, that's old world. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Do I yes. break and Just good to clarify order. how many CP you've got, Jake. I've got six. Six CP? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You still get one for the turn, don't you? Yeah, Yeah, because it doesn't, it ignores, it says it ignores, it ignores all the maps. So you get one for the turn plus three for killing one of your also, very, if very I do ditch a card, I will get the... I can get because it says specifically in it you ignore the match play yeah, limitation. Yeah, yeah. So you could so get I another can if I want to ditch so a card. How many did you end the last turn on? Two. Two? So you've yeah. just got four? Yeah. Why did you have two last turn? Because I ditched a card in my turn oh, one. Okay. So I went into the turn with oh three and then I God. overwatched and then. This, so was, actually, command this was quite a big one over here, wasn't it? Me not getting this off you also gave you five on primary. Yeah, yeah. and now it's sticky. So this was a 10 point swing. Yeah. Yeah, well. Yeah. Definitely worth the tank shocker. Yeah. Yeah, yeah well, it wasn't because I failed it. <laughs> Poor, poor Steven. I failed it. Okay, luckily. Okay, yeah, if you mute us and go to the top down. Good for me. Such I don't big... have to. Let's take a moment to appreciate Colourforge, our fantastic sponsor. Their range of spray paints has become our go-to for making our miniatures come to life quickly and efficiently. The quality and variety of colours they offer are truly unmatched, providing a smooth application for stunning effects every time. Check out Colourforge for your next hobby project. All right. Okay, turn there. I mean, we killed two Sagittars <coughs> and some Berserkers and... Five so, bikes. Yeah, I, I think leaving that one bike alone, I, I understand why he did it, but I'm I'm 
not sure if it was a good idea or not because mm. that land raider needs to move through that gap and that's quite difficult to do if there's an inconvenient bike parked across it. This is very true. I feel like there's potential overwatch from the Redeemer that quite easily gets rid of the bike, but it does force a command point spend. And and Steve is not known for, for using Overwatch because oh, it's his pet hatred. I mean, I think even Steve could be tempted by a Land Raider <laughs> Redeemer. I actually forgot it was Redeemer. Mm. <laughs> Something's happening at the table. What's uh, going on? Uh, so he was really smug and I moved my berserk as he stared at me in my eyes lovingly and I got lost in them. Oh, okay. And then and then he was like, I'm going to get back in the land raid. And he was like, oh no, I can't. I've put models in there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so he snookered himself. <laughs> got a full snookering. So yeah. I will overwatch with the Redeemer. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Get that out of the way and then I can charge with my actual unit berserk as I want to. Yeah, overwatch with the uh, Redeemer. Yeah. Flamers. Oh, oh no. Lots of hits there. Oh no. Oh baby. And toughness five. Bless oh, my little spin lid head people. Bless them. Spin lid heads. Cool. So wounding on threes. Mm -hmm. No. Nope. It's gone. It's gone. Oh no. AP two. I'm two just, damage. I'm just going to roll this and then I have to roll this again. Reroll any successes, yeah. yeah. Well, they have two wings each, so one, two, three dead so far. Oh, just about. <laughs> so, so they're dead. Very sad. Whoop. Cool. Right. That That's fine. A, you can go back to the top down. That now. solves a problem. That was that. Cool. Was, at least I made you overwatch me. All right, a couple of super chats. Oh yes. Oh, so some big hitter super chats in here, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah, we've got John Aylett. Legend, 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 legend uh, amongst men. Good luck for LVO, all representing VT. I'm sure there's going to be a massive VT turnout. I know a lot of students that are going to the LVO. Um, the workshop has got so many people attending as well. Uh, it's going to be a fantastic uh, turnout for sure. Absolutely. I mean, it's, it's such a cool event as well. And then Dave Colmore's come in with uh, another super chat. Cheers, all you VT beauties and legends. Can't wait to see you all next week. Brackets, Mike, you'll be missed this year. Look, I'm going to miss that In and Out Burger. I won't uh, In and Out Burger. What, that, I mean, that was my, one of my highlights of that trip. Um, the, there's something about something about In and Out Burger that just we don't get that here. No, no, no it's yeah. I'm, damn, I'm hungry now. The, the the McDonald's was a bit poo, wasn't it? Yeah, I mean, I, I'll be honest. I didn't. I didn't fly half around the world and then eat McDonald's when well, there's I, In and Out Burger. I, I felt like I had to try. <laughs> yeah, it you got to try it. Once. You know, it's, it's the home. Yeah. Um, um, oh, and another super chat. Yeah, James oh, Hobbs. Sneaking in the bottom here. But on a serious note, why no Vect with the Marines? Okay, so I'm sure Steve's thought about this. The only Vect really available to this particular build is a Calidus. I wouldn't bother. Oh, I, I can think of things I would rather spend my points on in a, in a current Marine list than a Calidus. And 90 points is a lot of stuff you can get with Marines these days. Well, if you think about it, the... The um, lieutenant, is it lieutenant with combi weapon, which is the one with every mm -hmm. special rule in the game? Um, if I had a spare kind of 75 to 90 points to play with, that, that's the first place I'm looking. And at 90 points, you know, you're 20 points short of having, you know, interceptors. Yeah. The, the, there's a lot of aggressively costed options in the book that with the changes to the, the kind of vex like abilities, mm -hmm. uh, from my perspective, has pushed it a little bit down the, the pecking order. You know, yeah. it's not bad. Yeah but I'd rather have three inceptors of plasma guns. Or... I, I completely agree, uh, and I'll go one further, and I'll say that actually when you build a list, putting in 90 points of something just to counter your opponent, opposed to putting 90 points in that synergizes and fits with the rest of your list to take it to another level, th there's a massive difference here. Um, also in terms of your attitude towards the game, right? If you're going into a game with Calidus's, you're going... Because you're worried about facing certain army lists yeah. rather than going with that, let's say, Inceptor squad, focusing on where you can get the points when you want them. Yeah. Proactiveness over overreactiveness. And, and you know, as, as the meta adjusts and changes, mm -hmm. you know, your, your views and perceptions will, will do that. Early in the edition, um, I, it could be argued that some stratagems were so powerful yeah. and Vect was so good that 
you know, you you were you were heavily incentivized in order to take at least one, yes. uh, more if you could. Yes. Um, but you know, as, as those data slates has has smoothed that balance out a little bit, yeah. um, it's a little bit less binary now. Yeah, I would also argue. I would also say there are some armies where you have to take a Calidus. Like custodies, for example, Definitely. they need it because they don't have the same mission pieces available. It looks like they're ready for us at the table. Okay, well, just before we go, we do have another super chat. Twenty euros from Rontastic for Steve. Steve, I appreciate that you include variations of the Black Templars in your game, but no Helbrecht, no Grimaldus, no Marshall, He's no Castellan. To me, these are just Black Space Marines. He's got Sword Brethren and Helbrecht. He's got Helbrecht on the and table. I've got the Empress Champion. So please don't take this too seriously. Go on. To be fair, Rontastic, he does actually have Helbrecht. <laughs> and the Empress Champion. He literally Brethren. has Helbrecht. He does have a lot of Black Templar stuff. What more do you want? <laughs> <laughs> like, he's got all the units. And he does have the army beautifully painted. And he doesn't have a librarian. In Black Templar's colours. He doesn't have a librarian this time. I quit. That's it. You just, you just can't please people these days, can you? How many characters do you have to take? All just to be a Black Templar, you know. Every you just, single one. You hurt my... You hurt my boy. I give up. Now I'm gonna That's it. You. I quit. I'm done. I'm done. We got a okay. spare space to I am to LBA, done. If anyone wants. I convert my models to make them look like Sigismund, look, and it's not enough. That. I've That's got an Empress champion older than Jake. One, two, three, four of you in the room. Don't single me out. That he said it. Not well, me. hang on. You're the, I'm the one being singled wow. out there. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and Michael. Wow. <laughs> right. The sheer and the audacity do we need to get the box of the boy <laughs> i'll read you your book <laughs> come on no, again. um oh, we appreciate the super cut though yeah, yeah cheers, cheers. 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 we appreciate it. it's all in in, in good taste <laughs> well, and, uh, it, to be fair if anyone wants to have a go i was running blood angels <laughs> and literally just put the sanguinal in my army <laughs> so. into an iron storm yeah. is that my bin lid <laughs> yeah he fell off the table when i bashed it uh, oh no no don't give me oh it fell off the table you've always want to break my models and like because <laughs> you yours. hate my yeah exactly it's not even your models so chris Big orange Chris, my love. Um, then you should you should have a word with him. Right. Sorry, Chris. Can I shoot now? You should get on with it. Uh, well, actually, sorry, mate. There's another super chat. Oh my god. It's, <laughs> it's never ending, is it? Uh, Dave's just come in and said, Chris, you'll be missed too. Sorry, I didn't recognise your voice at first. No, that's right. I didn't take it personally, Dave. Um, I just I just uh, in my mind cut yeah. you out of my life forever. We'll play a game. But, um, thank I you. I just want to play a game. <laughs> no, me. thanks, Dave. Um, I'm fair, gutted not to be there. It's probably our fault for live streaming the game. We just want to live play a nice game, and all they do is keep interrupting with their super chats. <laughs> Can't believe it. I know. Let, let, said, let's let's get the old world stuff said out. I was, and they said I was not very handsome. They said you were not very handsome. I know. Well, they didn't say that because they'd be lying. But right, can I shoot now? Sure. I'm going to shoot. Shoot, my... shoot before someone else super. I'm going to shoot my Sagittar that's nearest to the land raid. Oh, actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to shoot. Oh, I don't know. I'm so conflicted. I'm going. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to shoot the beam cannon from the potato tank, and it's going to shoot your land raider. This one, yep, and point blank range yep, here. And then the, the bolters will shoot the centurions. So I'll do the centurions first. Go on then. So freeze to hit, so judgment taken. Oh, look. They missed. Right. And then, oh. Steady and then on. beam cannon, both hit. Yep. Both wound, minus three. One goes through. Uh, D6 damage. You need a roll of four. I That's rolled a six. I gave you change. Cool, cool. cool. <laughs> uh, do I explode? No. In 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 a in a. I've got six guys inside. <laughs> how much? Um, Where's that sweat cam gone? <laughs> how much? Um, how many wounds are they each? Three. Three. Okay, so I just got to shoot one out, and then I've still got the objective. <laughs> so is it, was that another one of your especially judged? I, it only counts as it's when you get the first one. Oh, it's, it's not, not, it's each, not time, each time, no. <laughs> No, I've, I've, I, I, luckily I never got to the point of playing it that way. Well, in that case, I'd like to apologise to my last opponent, Weir, who uh, probably didn't enjoy his like, getting 12 how command you, points. How did you not think the, the list was good if you get like 12 command points for doing nothing? Well, he was playing Chaos Space Marines and he picked me all up in one go. Yeah, that is quite hard. Oh. <gasps> so one's got a wound left, right? One's got a wound left, yes. Cool. And they're battle-shocked, right? Yeah, they're battle-shocked. I'm not doing any of my bins, Steve. No, you are. I can are you feel counting it. up or down? Down. Good. Right. Um, right, so now I'll shoot this Sagittar. Yeah. And it's now going to shoot everything at that unit of um, 
sword brothers. Okay. So I'll do the heavy bolter first. Go on then. Uh, one hit with sustained. Yep. Uh, freeze uh, with twin links. Mm -hmm. One wound minus one. I'm okay. Cool. And then beam cannon. Uh, don't have a judgment taken, so just one hit, but it's sustained D3. <laughs> uh, twos. Okay, two at minus three. What are these guns? Potato tanks. So, in the box, right, one failed. And then and then one's dead, and yeah. then another is dead. So Ooh, two dead. In the box, Stephen. Um, Chris, could you just check if Ufa has grenades? I will have a look. I highly doubt he does. His belt's got a lot of things, but grenades doesn't look like one of them. Um, then I'm going to shoot this Sagittar, and he's going to shoot at the Land Raider. Okay. Uh, you will get cover because your gun is behind the thing. So this Sagittar, freeze, they've hit. Mm -hmm. Freeze, they've wound, or one wound, sorry. Uh, fine. Bolters, uh, one, two hits, but one sustained. One wound, minus one, but minus nothing. Twin linked. Two wounds, minus one, but minus nothing. I'm okay. Uh, second one. Yep. One hit. One wound. Uh, minus two. D6. Two. Uh, I will revolve. Do it. What? Do it. Five damage. Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, Uther does not have grenades. No, I, I did think he doesn't. Okay. He doesn't look like a very grenadey chap. Um, and then bolter guns. All hit. Bolter guns. One wound, minus one, so now it's nothing. All good. That's all the potato tanks. All right. So, mole launcher. Mm -hmm. I'll shoot this unit. Judas unit, yeah. So, D6 with blast, so six shots. You're firing six moles on. Yeah. Yeah. Fives. Poor little guys. <laughs> Fours. <laughs> one wound, no AP, and you get cover. So, one it takes a bit damage. You just took a mole. On a four up. Yep, yeah, then you're minus two move, minus two advance, minus two charge. Quick, get that mole off you. <laughs> My face, my face. How can a mole hit you? They can't even see. That's blindest. We had the discussion about how do guide dogs know where to go. Well, they're not like they're not like sat navs. <laughs> so the, to the butchers. <laughs> um, and then I'm gonna shoot Volkai at the Centurions. Uh, it hits. Oh, help and, me! Oh, dev wound on the Centurions. Take that. Sure. Oh, no, I thought you were gonna be like no. Um, then. I will shoot bike into the aggressors. I'm going to spend one CP to grenade. Cool. So it's six dice every four up. Yeah. So just one. Then rotary cannon. Oh, you, you've got all the wound dice. Oh no, I've got one here. Sorry, I got one. Then rotary cannon, freeze with sustain, so it will hit. Toughness of an aggressor is five or six? Uh, six. Six. Six, yeah. So fours, cool. uh, three wounds minus one. You do get cover. I'm okay. Cool. And then other gun will hit. Two wounds minus one. Do two damage each. And then pistol. Uh, two hits. Can't fire a pistol on the other it's guns. It's not. A, sorry, it's not a pistol. It's a shotgun. Ah, okay. But I call it a pistol. Right. It looks like a pistol. Okay. Because um, as the great man once said, if it looks like a pistol, it probably is a pistol. Um, I don't know who said it. Me. What is Jay talking about? Right, I'm, I'm sorry, chat. Uh, Jake is clearly um, gone mad. Seen, gone <laughs> absolutely <laughs> bonkers. Um, yeah. So I'm going to shoot the, the moles. these guys. Yep. So all of their Volkites will shoot the Land Raider. All of their grenade launchers will shoot the Scouts. And okay, I'm going to spend then. one CP to give me sustain one and sustain two. Sounds good. Cool. So we'll do the Volkite first. Mm -hmm. I'm going to roll this twice if that's all right. You do what you want. Because I don't have big hands. So twos. Every six is sustain two. Oh. <laughs> well. That involves me getting some, and then I'll. It's dev wounds, so fives, but with dev. Okay. So one dev wound, that's it. <laughs> okay. Next one, plusing three because the sergeant has it. Twos, that's a bit better. So two, so I gain, so it's net one. Okay. So I lost a wound. So you've lost yeah. a wound so far. Okay. So you lost another wound. Okay. And two, sa three saves at no AP. Then, da, da, da. is this the grenades on the scouts? Yeah, so this is going to be 10d6 plus 10. Mm. It's almost certainly not worth rolling. Am I dead? Yeah, you're dead. Okay, cool, yeah. I'm dead. Scouts are dead. Oh. That scouts. was like 30 something hit. Cool. Um, right. 
Let's do some charging. So Ufar's going to charge the Centurions. Cool. The Berserkers are going to charge the Aggressors. The Hearthguard are going to charge the Land, the Land Raider. Raider and yeah. that'll be it. So Ufar. I think you made it. Ufar the distant. And then Zerkers. They're in. Mm-hmm. Let's see who has to make base with him. 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 And then him. And then him. Very nice. Oh, and then... The other one, big yeah, squad. So they need a nine. They do. We roll it. Nine. Oh, yeah, I've got CP. He's gone for the CP re-roll. Because yeah, that'll leave me on one, which will get into your 10 Ts. That's fine. Yep. Yeah. Well, that was fortunate, wasn't it? Yeah. So 10, so oh, that gets that this. one here. Can you just clarify how many CPs you think you have, Jake? Because we... I've got two. He's I used... know I have two. Is you sustained? Hits. Yeah. I've used two rerolls. He's used two rerolls. One in the charge phase, one in the uh, shooting phase. Cool. So that's all the ones that can base. So that's yeah. down to three, right? Because you were at six. Uh, oh, maybe, maybe that is. I, spent, I swear I've spent another one. No, I've grenaded as well. He's grenaded. grenaded. That's yeah. the one we're missing. Yeah. So he'll go there. So yep. the money consolidates. Just, just go on. He's making it rain with the CPs, isn't he? It's unbelievable. Get ready for LBO, making it rain. Get those singles ready. Say, Single CPs. How many? You've got one, so you can't interrupt. Unfortunately. Right. Oof, oh, the destined. Uh, so he's going to hit you. What's he got? He's got the sword of the ancestors or something like the that. Sword okay. of the oh, ancestors. I've just looked at the line. I looked at you and it's all blurry. Um, say, twos. He hits. Oh, it's has to wound. Right. So he can turn a dice to a six after okay. I've rolled. And All he's right. got dev wings. That's quite nice. So um, toughness, six. Seven. Seven, so five. And I'll turn that to a six, so that's uh, six dev wings. That's quite good. So that will be Ooh. one dead and one on two. That's pretty good, though, isn't it? And he turns all damage to one. Ooh. Oof, ah, the destined. Who's done might be better than I gave him credit for? Then beast. I will do... Where's when you roll that many sixes? So yeah. then I'll do Berserkers. Yes, I'm going to spend one CP on them, so I bump my AP by one. Okay, and you can do that because I've got a Judgment Token yeah. on me? so it's for every Judgment Token you have on you, I bump my AP okay. by one. Cool. So or one actually, CP. sorry, I'm not going to do that. Do okay. it. I'm going to wait to do it on the land raid. On the land raid, yeah. Yeah, so um, they're three attacks each. Would you like to do anything? I'm AP two, flat three damage. I will armor contempt. Yeah, that's cool. I think that's yeah. even. So this is going to be freeze to hit because mm -hmm. you have a judgment taken. Yep. And then strength. Could you have a look? Oh, sorry, I think it's look, strength. Look, sorry, I think it's there. strength eight. Or... Well, it's threes anyway. Okay. Right, because it's not going to be yeah. twelve. No. And uh, if it is twelve, then we've got a problem. <laughs> eight at minus two, so minus one, and okay. these are flat three damage each. So these are four up saves. Oh, okay, so either one. Four up saves. Okay. So, three damage each. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> well, it's going to be a very early night, everybody, so they are all dead. <laughs> oh, oh, Steve, you're really sorry. You no, you're not. Sure. You're not sorry. Oh, I'm not sorry. No, you're not. You're not sorry this at all, are you? Life. Give us your smug looks, Jake. <laughs> you're not even sorry. You have to win on stream. You're not even sorry. Those are the rules. No, I'm not sorry. You're not right. sorry. I'm not right. I'm not. Right. Uh, so, I'll hit you back here. I'm going to pay one CP to bump my AP. Say. We just painted them. <laughs> oh, he, no, you didn't paint them. <laughs> I did actually. They Giggly. look beautiful, by the way. Where's that Haunt, first haunted house. <laughs> Definitely 50 50. <laughs> Fine, 60 40. <laughs> 70, 30, 80, 20, oh, I walk. <laughs> 90. He, he definitely underpins. <laughs> <laughs> right, mass gauntlet, hitting on twos. Two hits. So I've spent the CPs, bump my AP by two. Great. So this is all eight. So you, this is AP five, the rest Brilliant. of it's AP four. Excellent. Strength. Nine. Okay. So fives. Fives, but fours because plus one wound. So one wound minus five, and this is flat three. Right. Bye. <laughs> Just six wounds left then. And then we'll do it. This will be eighteen attacks. We'll do it. Show us roll if I blow. How many? Eighteen. Could be uh, two land raiders down there. Turn. It's gonna be a problem. Will you get that ready? We had a super chat from James Hobb. Oh, uh, not that James Hobbs guy again. I oh, know, right. <laughs> I looked up from painting my Calidus and Focus Librarian double vectors live not, not and can't help but notice oh, there's a lot more Black Templar stuff missing. Well, hold your horses because there's even more about to be missing. <laughs> the Votan pack a massive punch. Five. Five minus four, so six ups. Uh, so, he's, so he's just dead. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> oh, Steve. oh no. So on you. D6 oh, no. wounds, four. So I lose two. On my Biologus is two. So he's down to two. 
maybe? Probably. He's got five, I believe. Okay, three then. Um, then on my sword brethren, four. Oh, no. Uh, they need my judgment taken dice. I will give you your dice. Won't you? uh, that's one. Yeah, that's right. Cool, cool, cool. Um, on your berserkers, six. Oh, actually, it's not that bad. Okay, I, I just lose two. So that's right. On your Sagittar, okay. two. My potato tank. Uh, Right. Poor potato tank. I think that's everyone within six. I mean, <laughs> let's just double check your Sag, but I'm pretty sure that's six inches. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I, yeah. I know six inches when I look at it. Yeah, I don't. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's it then. That's six inches, and then he's dead. Yeah. I'm dead, yeah. Of course, I've got to get out. Got to Gosh. get the boys out. Yeah. That was quite the explosion. Um, <laughs> right, mm. so. Got to hate it when a Land Raider explodes. It hurts every time. Every yeah, time. it hurts. A lot. Uh, I need this guy. Yeah, once I played a game with my Night Lords and my Land Raider blew up. Did six wounds to my Demon Prince, which then died in Overwatch. So I didn't even get to use it. My, um, when we went to, when we, we went to BAO actually. Yeah. Um, I, I brought the, the Night Book oh, not long after it had released and played against <laughs> those uh, Crusher Stampede Tyranids. And yeah. I managed to kill one. What, what are the bird ones called? The flying ones? The aircraft. Yeah, I managed to kill one of those um, because oh, it flew into my deploys. Yeah. And uh, all three of my big dice blew up and, and took it with it. So uh, that was the only model I killed that game. <laughs> I love an explosion. You had another game though, right? Where you did like 40 mortal wounds to Eldar. Yes, yeah. Um, but but I, I detonated it myself using the strat at that uh, point. Mm, that's that was the hill of Doom Eldar. Everybody um, loves that strategy, especially Steve. I, I mean, I that was the most fun I had. Um, uh, well, in, in quite some time. Uh, that I'm allowed to refer to on stream. Um, uh, James did super chat again with the poo emoji. Um, just important to point that out. I mean, that's why we have uh, the top quality commentary like this. Oh, yes. Um, I actually don't think we ever answered the question about which marine chapter mm. uh, with the Primarch. So what's great about Marines these days the is that you can run any chapter pretty much and have a and actually just use die? like Calgar, sure, not Calgar, um, Gilliman, it's Gilliman. It's got a power or the Lion, I'm but the guy with make a, a conversion fist. that is the Primarch of one or the other. Oh, I haven't yeah, well, unless you're a Blood Angels, Angels player because then your Primarch is most certainly dead. Well, people still do it, don't they? Well, you know, yeah, people don't. live in dream, oh, dream yeah. special dream land. <laughs> special dream, you know. So, I mean, you know. Some people can't just let him go. I think that the coolest Primark model available in the range is the Lion. Um, I'm not going to say he's the strongest because I don't believe he is. I think Gulliman mm -hmm. is, is probably stronger, objectively. Yeah. Um, oh, sorry, we got to go back to the game we're actually playing. The worst bit about what's just happened <laughs> is that I forgot that the aggressors were the things I gave two judgment tokens to, so I should have been plus when I hit and wound them. Which, but I still basically You've, wiped them. Do you want me to pick up the biologues? No, 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 no. no I don't no, matter. No. Did you want to pick up the biologues? Yeah, I'll pick him up. Okay, because already... I would have been AP4 as well, yeah, so exactly. it would have been in yeah. all safe, so yeah. Good thing. <laughs> just wrong to on the win there, by the way. Yeah, I was just yeah, like, so, can you so take that model off for me? Yeah. Just, just to be clear, that, that, was, <laughs> sorry, that was reminding sorry. that um, they so, were one of the units targeted at the beginning of the game um, for having two judgment to pilots. Pilots. So, so plus one to hit and wound, right. Which is, which is quite a good combination of rules to have. Centurions, I believe, get three attacks each. It's been a while since these guys have seen combat. So... Oh, I would laugh so hard if they kill Uthai. Be amazing if they How many did. attacks have they got? I'm looking at that. Oh, right. Yeah. About three each. I'm making him look. I'm making him sweat. <laughs> oh, three, so three attacks each. Yeah. Okay, so if you drop one, you can't kill him. <laughs> I hit on fours. You gave me change. Uh, toughness five. I good assume they're strength six. Good chat. Good they're chat. not strength six. No. What are those fists for? Well, then? they slap, mate, so it's slightly less powerful than. Yeah. Because they just slap you. All right, um, so that concludes your turn. <laughs> yeah, I get. Um, I'll get engaged for free and I'll get bring it down for eight. I'm feeling confident about my LBO list. <laughs> I quite like mine. <laughs> if that helps. <laughs> Eight. So what did you score? I got eight on bring it down because I killed Bay Flat Raiders, <laughs> and I got three on engaging all fronts because I just can't. I just couldn't. You just get couldn't it. get in there, could you? Because yeah. of the infiltrators. Yeah. Right. Well, I'm going up a CP. Woohoo! 
and I'm getting up to CP, so I'll be on to you. Of course CP. you are. So uh, my cards are captured on the outpost. <laughs> Good chat. <laughs> Defend stronghold. Okay, okay cool, that's cool, like cool. definitely doable. Right, so I'm going to have to go for some tactical doctrine, I do think. You wanna, do you want to meet and have a thing? Um, yeah, what did sure. you score? Uh, uh, I got Jake. eight, eight so on I, Bring I, It Down. Oh, we've got the score here, that's all right. I'll score 10 on primary. Yeah, 10 on you're primary, you're both on 2CP? Uh, yes. Yeah. Brilliant. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's like oh, an attack helicopter good. coming over. <laughs> the Black Templars have reinforced right. You see, Chris heard about that model getting knocked over. He saw it live and he's called in some buddies. <laughs> so, yeah. Just me and the boys hanging out. <laughs> me and the RDG. <laughs> it's like uh, one of these things. Mm, okay, so right. if we need them go to the top down, I think we're going to talk about some more Space Marines, aren't we? Oh, hell yeah. Uh, just adjusting oh, some of Mike, this Mike stuff. has to press all the buttons I've that I'm not allowed buttons. to touch because I don't have to have any of them work. And I think last time I pressed the button, I ended the stream. <laughs> it, it, maybe it was, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so we do have another super chat, which kind of leads into it, yes. uh, from John Callahan. Um, okay, better assessed question. Of the potential return of Primarchs, Salamanders or Raven Guard, I'm a real competitive player. Um, I would say competitively at the moment, yep. Salamanders are much stronger <laughs> than Raven Guard. Uh, I would agree. Just Although because I their like... two characters are amazing. Yeah, but, uh, the, the Raven Guard character is also amazing, yes. but I think useful in a le in less... Um... Mm. In a less variety of units, less variety of options. Yeah. But what he does is really good. He gives a loan op, doesn't he? He does, yeah. He gives a whole unit loan op. Which is which is nice. It is very, very good. But um, uh, after after watching your salamanders um, systematically pick apart everything you put them on the table against, <clears> I'm, yeah. I, I, I'm kind of sold that the uh, the salamanders might have a bit of play right now. Mm, even even Ben Jones is picking them up. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, it must for, be good. For, for at some point in the future. So what would you call it? The return of Vulcan? Oh, Vulcan or Demon Prince Korax. So it's just... Uh, so... Oh. <coughs> Demon Prince Korax would be cool. I would love to see a shift in, like, Loyalist, Traitor. Yeah. That would be incredible for well, Tabletop. It, it would. And, uh, I, you know, you don't want to spoil too many books. But uh, if you're a fan of the uh, of uh, Dan Abnett's Inquisitor-type book, so the, the Bequin ones, there's, okay. cer there's certainly references to... Uh, not all, not all demons being being demons, mm. um, and and who knows what what that will see in the future. Um, I would love to see Korax return. Yeah, um, I think that the entire um, the entire range of um, Raven Guard maybe could do with a little bit of love. Yes, um, I think it's been a while since I had anything cool, and and I, I like a kind of fast attack themed army as it is. Mm. That being said, Vulcan lives. Vulcan, he lives. Vulcan. I'm listening to the uh, Pharos at the moment as I was driving here, so the Horus Heresy novel. Yeah. Um, and off the off the back of was it called the Unremembered Empire? I don't know. Sorry. So it's it's a Dan, it's a Dan Abner book where um, Vulcan falls from the sky onto the crag, and it's very very cool. Um, so I'm I'm in a bit of a bit of a salamander's mood at the oh, moment. Cool. And uh, Night Lord cool. Salamanders. It's your, oh, your kind uh, of book. You know, I, th I think you should. I think you should I've get been in known on this. to devil. Yeah. <laughs> Um, <laughs> but so so yes, I I think that Korax would be a cooler one to to bring back. Yeah. Um, but just imagine how cool a new mm. a new Vulcan model would oh, be. Right. I mean, the size of a hammer alone would have Man, to come from the Sons Vulcan, of Bayman range. Like that would be so cool if he oh. came back. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but you're right. I do like the whole kind of playing with morality thing, with uh, perhaps moving a, a, a demon to an imperial side being an interesting yeah. take on, you know, not all war things be bad. Yeah, yeah. I guess it'd probably upset quite a few Raven Guard fans. Um, well, it would certainly upset certain parts of the Inquisition. Yes. <laughs> um, I, uh, I might be a radical. It turns out. <laughs> quite possibly. Quite possibly. Uh, so we've got a couple of questions here. Can I ask the reasoning behind two land raiders? Well, what mean, one's a redeemer? redeemer? One's a redeemer, one's a normal land raider. I run two repulsors and a redeemer in my <laughs> space marine list. <laughs> Toughness 12 uh, with a two-up save is just a very tough war. Yeah, and I'm, I'm playing some marines at the moment. I'm yeah. all in an iron storm. Right now, the, the meta is so 
um, vehicle heavy, you have to mm-hmm. first of all benefit from the toughness that they, they inherently have, which is yep. which is not inconsiderable at the moment. But also, you have to be able to kill other people's vehicles. So the regular Land Raider with its mm. what they call God Hammer Las Cannons, is yes. that what they're called, yeah. uh, as, as opposed to to just lots of Las Cannons. Um, yeah, they should just change the weapon profile to lots of Las Cannons. Lots of lo- lots yeah, of yeah. Las Cannons. Yeah. <laughs> um, <coughs> You know, they they fill both roles. They're a delivery mechanism for some quite scary combat units. Mm-hmm. They are tough inherently in their own right, as we saw by the trying to take the objective. And they then they can crack your opponent's nut. Crack your opponent's Hold tough. On, I, <laughs> let, I, I, let, <laughs> crack your opponent's nuts. Yeah. Uh, on on that note, let's go back to the table. Land Raiders, um, Steve's <laughs> taking them because they can crack your opponent's nuts. <laughs> Over to you, Steve. <laughs> I have kept this unit here still because I didn't want Jake to overwatch. This unit just tends to be moved up against the wall. I've gone into the tactical doctoring just for this unit, so I've spent a CP for that. Everything else is just staying in a non-doctoring. Um, and this unit stayed just kind of shuffled forward a little bit. And that's about it, really. Not a huge amount to do. I've got to try and kill some stuff. Otherwise, I am going to be out of this game very, very quickly. Because that was a significant loss turn. You asked me why I took two land raiders is to keep my army safe. And my people have bin lids and taxis. <laughs> and they didn't go so well. So uh, there we go. And like, with the power of faith, fire and bin lids. <laughs> and it's like, right. um, you ever seen the front cover of The Martian? No. By um, this Matt Damon film? Yeah, I know. Okay, yeah. just look at that and then that's what, how all the Vatam are based off of. So the reason why I've gone for Tactical Doctrine on this unit is so that they can fall back and shoot and charge. And also I've over the moment the unit of... Um, Hearthguard. Hearthguard, so please yeah. Please don't um, shoot really far. So oh, we're going to go yeah. into the shooting phase. Please don't shoot with last cannon. And what we're going to do is we're going to kick off over here. I've left two units within 12 inches here. It's just the flame pistol. Sorry. <gasps> My potato right. tank! Sorry. And more lids. Just need to adjust him slightly. Uh, so I got the combi weapon here into Uthar. That's for two being. hits. Anti infantry four plus. Uh, nothing. Great. Uh, the flame pistol is six shots. And toughness five. Fives. Uh, one wound, please. Uh, any AP? No. All good. You love it. Cool. Uh, this these two guys here are going to shoot into the my berserkers. The berserkers. Or yeah. Do you not want to put one on my side? Or... That last cannons into the sedge, or I'm just asking because obviously got... you got the missiles because they'll get. Deeper. Well, I tell you what, let's do some clean up first with these units. Then mm. we got uh, three flame pistols. I'll just do them all at the same yeah, time. Yeah, so there, okay. For it. Uh, the combi mm. weapon from Hellbreak will be shooting. Yeah, we'll go into here as well. Uh, yeah, so flame pistols. Nine. Uh, they are D six, aren't they? Yep. Yeah. So, one, two, three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Thank you. Fives. Just two saves. Uh, there's no AP here. Nope. So six up. Oh, that again. Oh, no. <laughs> Let me change. Combi weapon. Two hits. Anti infantry four plus. Uh, plasma pistol. Six. Not overcharging. Hits. Yeah, does wo- does uh, wound. Uh, fail it. So kills that one. Cool, cool, cool. Um, right, what else have I got over there? Four bolt pistols, four hits, one save, please. AP1 is a heavy on pistol. Yeah. Unit. So, how much damage is Just it? Just one. Okay, so five up. Cool, cool, cool. No. Moly. Moly will <laughs> So, so we'll put the two LAS cannons into here. Please don't do that because he turns all damage to one. He turns all damage to all one. All damage to one. How many wounds have you got? Five? Okay. I think maybe um, six. Should let so him do it. These two here into no, I, there. Last I did cannons. tell him. him. Last cannons into there. Yeah. And then the, the um, missiles, the missiles into there. That's why so I was saying missiles. I didn't, I'm being a good sport. And looking, you re roll on a, an objective. Save, thank you. Three hits, two wounds. Minus. Oh, two. Uh, yeah, so I get a save damage. D3 damage. Save so the first one. one is one. Uh, dead. And then one. Cool. Well, not dead, sorry, on a wound. Does he have the same weapon as them? Yeah, he has a hammer and a mole launcher. Cool. And then the two last cannons That's why he's the Sagittar. Got a little friend. Something uh, that I two hits. Ooh, twin twin linked. One wound. AP three. No cover. D6 plus one damage. Oh. Three damage. So down to four. And Ooh. how many wounds have you got? Gross. Five. So he's got five wounds. Right, this is 
quickly coming undone, isn't it? Uh, right, that concludes my shooting <laughs> phase. So we're into the combat phase now. These guys are going to charge into him. They are in. Chris said something quite normal. <laughs> you missed it. It was really funny. <laughs> I'm glad you're finding this funny, Jake. <laughs> no, 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 it was very inappropriate. Not so about you, about something else. This unit here with the Judas are in. They're going to charge this unit here. I hate you with every fibre of my With body. a nine. I've so never hated anyone Minus more. two, that's seven. And they will need to get base to base, so they're going to go around the back, right? No, I should have overwatched. <laughs> but then you would have just moved that unit. So. Every cloud. So you're not charging you far? Huh? So you're not charging you far? No. Grenade is a pretty good way to kill Uthar, isn't it? Oh, that's the wrong guy. 100%. Yeah. Grenade, Grenade is the way to kill Uthar. Uthar's pretty, yeah. Oh, yeah, just any yeah. dev wounds or just like... Well, 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 how LVO are playing it, you, you reduce all damage to one, then you get all the pluses on top of it. Of course, yeah. yeah. Mm. That's why I was really scared of the sword buddies. Uh, the Assault Intercessor is going to charge your bike and yeah. also your Sagittal. Yeah. Just to quickly answer a chat question. Yeah, they're both going to LVO and these are... They're quite close to final LVO lists. No, I'm making Although some... I'm <laughs> making some... <laughs> Steve might make some... That third unit of scouts are looking well Steve, tasty. Steve might be looking at a few night spinners, uh, <laughs> the Incarn. Avatar. <laughs> this unit is going to charge into here. Oh, oh sorry, which one? Uh, my big unit, Hellbrecht. You, sorry, you forgot your little captain, man. No, no, he's part of this unit. Oh, is he? Sorry. He's part of this unit, sorry. yeah. I just knocked him. There we go. That's all right. I'm so used to him being a part of that unit. That's why oh, no. I, that's my fault. Sorry. That's okay. It's because I want the um, the only way I can give this unit lethal is with him. So then I actually get some benefit out of the critical hits of fives. Mm -hmm. So that is the I, the plan anyway. Oh, well, this guy does fight on death on a four up. Yeah, I know. Okay, there's not much I can do about it. And then over here, uh, I'm going to multi charge into this unit and also yeah. the Sagittar. Okay, eight. So Emperor's Champion wants to go hunting for this Probably thing. Probably a Sagittar, right? Yeah, and then he can go... Or you could put more Sword Brothers into the... He's got a Feel No Pain? They, uh, no, I got rid of him. He you got rid of him. Me, but I do have a four up in Vol on the Sergeant, so I have to, have to take one at a time. Sure. Ah! Not the Emperor's... You just hate my bin lid people so much. Why have you got against them? Everything. <laughs> now, Steve. Yes. All those Sword Brethren and all that. What AP is it? Two... All of it's AP2? Yes. And you have no way of bumping it to AP3? Nope. You got Strat, haven't you? No, he's, he's not in the Assault Doctrine. Oh, right, okay. I can get Lance for a CP. Yeah. So, But before the fight phase, I'm going to do Hellbrick's ability. So on a dice roll, oh, you might yeah, take sorry. some Mortal Wounds. You do, you take a flat three. I see. Right, so, question is, I can interrupt. Yep. Which is probably the smart thing to do. <laughs> or I could heroic with Ufa into the Centurions. Could do that too. And swing the objective potentially. What would you like to do? I don't know. Because... Where would you interrupt? Well, the Hearthguard, but they're probably all going to die. Well, not all die, but like they're going to take a significant amount of damage. Probably. Or I could void armor them, that's the other alternative. For then CP, I, yeah, because yeah. then it'll get all the gain AP3, it'll go over armor 3 up the same, is what I'm trying to say. Mm -hmm. But if I kill all the centurions in the middle, yeah. that then means that I'll then Hellbrick control is, the objective. Hellbrick is AP3, just so you know. I'm going to, probably the first time ever, I'm going to heroic with Ufar. Okay. Because if I kill the Centurions, that yep. then swings the objective it back does. to me, yep. which then gets me 10 primary. So I'm going to I think that. Void Armor would have been a mistake because I yeah. think I'd kill you anyway. You're yeah, in. in. Cool. Uh, I'll go this side so then when I sure. eventually get to leave. Ufar, right. the Destined. Yeah. Cool. I think we're going to see if that was the good idea. So it's all me then. You've got no other little weird tricks you can do. Mm -hmm. Because cool, cool, he cool. doesn't get, he doesn't, he counts his charge, he doesn't count his charging, does he? No, no he doesn't get no. the charge bonus, no, that's fine. but he gets any of the bonuses that you may get for charging. Yeah. Right, so over here first, I got the Emperor's Champion. Mm -hmm. uh, Heem and the Sergeant guy mm -hmm. is going to put all their attacks onto this here. And are you going to get plus one damage or plus one attack? Uh, how many wounds you got? Uh, nine. 
Nine, so I need, ten. I need three to go through regardless, so I'll push up my attacks, okay? Because these guys are one wound each, yeah? Oh, yeah, 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 because he's flat three and either. Yes, sword, yeah. so I'll push up the attacks. So Helbrecht, uh, the Empress Champion, mm -hmm. he'll then get seven attacks, getting on twos. And then he is wounding on fives. Yeah, because the top is ten. Uh, that is just one wound, AP3. So six up. So you're down to six. And then the other guy with his four attack, five attacks now. He hits on twos. Wounding on fives. Nothing over here. The um, lightning claws. Is this into the unit? Yeah. Rerolls wounds. Uh, top is five. Just one, uh, AP two. So I'll take it on the four up in bowl, fail it, so he's dead. So that's the sergeant. And then the other guy. Oh no. Uh, three saves from the other guy, AP two. Uh, so this will be six ups. Uh, all dead. All right, cool. You get a judgment taken. Naughty, naughty. There we go. Very nice. Naughty. <laughs> right, where is my, I'm gonna do some consolidating. <laughs> Yeah, whenever you give a judgment saving or something, you have to shout, Naughty, that's it. <laughs> no. He's not, he's not the Emperor's Champion, he's a very naughty boy. Okay. And then, sorry. Because I'll get a bit funny about all this. There we go. You get a bit funny about all this, no, do you? No, because, like, like the, just about this? No, just about, like, these, because... Right, sure. They're difficult to keep track of. Uh, the Assault Intercessors, uh, I think I'm just going to put everything into the bikes. Cool. Uh, that was easy. <laughs> I'm re-rolling oh. wounds here, actually. What's oh. your armour save? Uh, I have a four-up armour save, yeah. and I had three wounds left. Three wounds left. And sorry, could I just ask you to put that on that potato? If yeah. someone just asked, should Six. I join VT if I've never played a game of 40k? And then an immediate comment turned up with 100%. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, well, you, you hear it already. Um, but yeah, we've got a start playing course. So if you've never played a game of 40k, have a look at start playing. Um, yeah, I'll just with VT and, and keep it you'll learn the game yeah. there with little mini games and everything. <laughs> oh, get uh, that's the place to start. So check that out. Thank we're you, also though. pretty good at night out. Huh? What's it? What's that? <laughs> I said we're also pretty good at a night out. We're yeah. great on a night out. We are great on a night out. <laughs> so we'd probably specialise. That's what like, less stars on a night out, and some guy recognised me from the channel. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would say I've had more nights out than successful days at tournaments. <laughs> Most of the result of the nights So what out. he means is he has more fun. <laughs> <laughs> two saves AP1 and Mole Launcher. Uh, so how much damage is it? One each. No, two each, aren't one they? Time. The uh, fist from the uh, sent Oh, I've only just failed one as well. So he is dead. On a four up, he gets to fight. No. Mr. Mole Launcher is dead. Uh, but now you have two judgment tokens on you, which Ooh, means he far gets plus one a wound. Of course he does. Which Very is what nice. I was hoping for. Very nice, grand sir. plan. <laughs> right, I'm going to go with this unit on the end here. Okay, yeah. uh, so this is the... Um, and you're re-rolling all your hits here. And I'm going to... Their damage... Their two wounds each. So I'll boost up the attacks then. Yeah? Aren't you one damage, though? I'm a mixture of... Oh, one, you've got one, one two, two, and three. Yeah, yeah, that's fine, yeah. I think the attacks is probably better. How many wounds has your sergeant got? He, no, he doesn't. He just You're... has a four up in roll. Oh, it... my Carl, he yeah. has five. He has five. In that case, I'll boost up the damage with this first yeah. unit, okay? Oh. So this is going to be five attacks. May just be a wee need. <laughs> uh, that is re-roll misses for the old... Yeah. And uh, then you have lethal, because you have the lieutenant. No, there. this is the Judas, sir. So this will be oh, devastating sorry. wounds. Okay. Uh, so, oh no! So uh, what's it actually doesn't matter. He's dead. Oh, you've got precision, right? Yep. So that's uh, two, and then one other guy dead as well. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, you get a judgment taken, naughty boy. And then the uh, we'll go next with the mastercraft, the power sword. It's four attacks, hitting on twos. Uh, strength five, so fives because five. I'm to six. So two saves, AP two. Uh, so four up, one failed. One dead. Is it two damage, this? It'll be flat three. Oh, I'll tell so you one was on one wound anyway. Everything's going to be minimum of two. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Uh, this is the Thunder Hammer. Uh, one hits. Mm -hmm. One, uh, uh, three devastating yeah. wounds. And then I've got the Lightning Claws. And then five through rolling. Two. Uh, one fail. Two damage. So one and then I've got one guy with a sword because I lost a guy earlier to the explosion. Uh, so it's four hits, two wounds, AP two, two damage. Uh, one dead. 
Right, and then the other unit just has that again, doesn't it? With Hellbreak and Man. Yeah. yeah I'll just take them all off. Cool, cool, cool. Um, Hellbreak's unit, there you go. It's a judgment taken. Just do some consolidating. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Yeah. And then this guy, this unit can't consolidate, yeah. obviously, because it also, they're yeah. all in base to base. Cool. Um, Ufar the Destined. Ufar, Ufar. Twos, all hit. Nice, nice, Ooh. nice. So your toughness seven, yeah. so I need fours, because you plus one a wound. Oh, no. And then I turn one to a six, so one dies. Cool. Because one was on two already. Yeah, I don't know which one it was, this one or this one. Uh, I have no idea. Do you want to just four up it? Sure. One, yeah. two, three, this one. Four, five, six, this one. I was hating it. <laughs> the one that meant I could leave combat. Um, cool. All right. So that concludes my turn. I didn't score any... Well, oh, I get the Sagittarius. I've started yeah. Defend. I'll get rid of Capture. So that gets me a CP. Yeah. Cool. Um, end of your turn, I'm going to take my bikes off the table. Mm -hmm. Great show. Um, and then, yeah, so now it's my turn three. Who would have thought it, eh? <laughs> and can you tell me how many primaries? Uh, I'm going to just get five because we can test this one. Yeah. And I don't have that one. And I've just got the back one. And then cards-wise, I'm going to get deploy teleport havers, which should be pretty easy, and secure no man's land, which should be pretty, should be easy. pretty easy. So Nice easy round. Yeah. yeah. Three CP for you, Steve, then. You are correct, sir. And then one for the Bhutan. Cool. Um, yeah, if you go top down and mute us, then I'll... Talk about things. Okie dokie, just gotta update those scores. And now for a word from our sponsor, C Studios. They are the experts in providing professional miniature painting services, ensuring your armies always look their best on the battlefield. Whether you're a seasoned veteran or just starting out, C Studios can help bring your miniatures to life. Don't miss out on their quality craftsmanship. I was just surprised that Steve hasn't scored anything that turn because he's got defend, so he's Which working towards that. Which happens next turn, and he got did. rid of the um, capture. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. A, a tall order in this turn. <laughs> yes, absolutely. <clears throat> so, right. but what he has done is he, although he, he hasn't scored highly himself, he's um, mitigated uh, to some degree anyway Jake's lead by keeping him off those primary points. Yes. You know that this is actually quite an easy mission to score ten on, and. Um, and every time you can prevent that from happening, yeah, you know, it, it's it's big. It's quite an impactful swing. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Um, to answer some questions in the chat, people have asked about salamanders on the stream. At some point, he's got to finish. You got to finish painting them first. Well, they're pretty much done. Well, you know, you um, can't you can't not have your ten battle already points on the stream. Hey, I played a GT with <laughs> battle points, all right? So uh, the army is painted. It's ready to go. Okay. Um, well, I've I've not seen it in a while. To be fair, other yeah. other than the kind of little little snippets you sent through yeah. of, yeah. Um, you know, some. But they're they're ready whenever it happens, and actually, I'm quite happy we've got this camera five going now Ooh. with our magical elf um, making it work, uh, because I've got some really cool salamanders models that I spent a lot of time on, and you'll get to see them. Um, we, we now have so many cameras that I'm afraid to step through the studio for, for fear of <laughs> tripping over one or more of the cords and causing a very expensive um, yes, it's cascade a, effect. Uh, dangerous place to be. Yes, I will sit in my corner here and uh, and talk to my microphone. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, so someone, I think it was James actually, said GW need to throw a curveball and bring back headless Ferris Manus. I like that. Can you imagine like a headless horseman style demon that's Ferris Ooh. Manus? That could actually well, be really well, cool. Well, get, give him his head back, but just have it all made out of what, is it called the necro necrodermis? Necro necro yeah, his, his his kind of metallic hands. That he could be he could be holding his head on the model. Oh, I like that, and then riding some kind of horse. Uh, yeah. Or, Metallic yeah. or oh, I'm, yeah, GW. I if you're know. listening, no. I, I I should be immediately free, be employed yeah. in your <laughs> you know design studio because what could possibly go wrong with uh, <laughs> with listening to our fever dreams? Yeah. Uh, um, yeah. Wolf and Russ been mentioned. I mean, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. he, he is he is due to return according to the the saga. Mm. Um, you know, the the end of the end of the universe or end of the the galaxy or something, which you know has has been threatened several times over the last ten thousand years. Um, Make him nearly headless like a hinge. <laughs> oh, like in uh, like Harry Potter, yeah. <laughs> nearly headless Ferris, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 
And they could build it in with like a pivot, little plastic pivot thing. So yes, could, yeah, so. yeah, like, yeah. Or we could have um, uh, Jagatai come back. You know, that that would be a good mm-hmm. uh, a good range refresh for some dark. Oh, sorry, they, they don't want to listen to our speculation. They want to play a game of Warhammer. Let's go back to the table, Mike. All right, we're back, guys, whenever points. you're ready. Um, <laughs> right, I've done some moving, so I've moved, I fell back the Sagittar that was in combat with the Assault Intercessors, and I've spent one CP so it can shoot and do everything normally. Ufar stayed in combat with the Centurion, because the Centurion can't kill him, so I can just do that. Bikes have come on here to cut the angle to shoot here. Five little five bin lid head people doing the Lord's work to get me five points on Teleport Homers. Yep. I've got this objective, I've got that objective, so I'll get five for Secure No Man's Land as well. And worst case scenario, I can charge How many wounds have these guys got? Uh, this is four, and these are nine. What do they start with? Nine. So you know me a battle shock check. Oh, sorry. Uh, I'm all right. You're okay. Cool. Um, I thought that would change the turn completely. <laughs> right, so I'm going to do some shooting. Yes. So let's start with the bike. So this unit of bikes here, yep. that can just see the back one, Okay. shoot. So... I'm no armor. AP1, right? This is AP1, but and I don't know cover. So armor contempt. Yeah. So um, this is the two damage shots first. So threes. Yep. And then I've got two judgment tokens, so twos. Three at minus nothing. Okay, uh, cool. Rotary cannon. Uh, so that will hit. And two back, go back in. Because this sustained two, hits, yeah. yeah. Two, so six AP nothing, and these are one damage each. Cool, cool, cool. Six AP nothing, so two ups. Uh, three ups even, and I've uh, lost one. Lost a guy. Right. Uh, and then the shotguns won't be in range. So the next unit of bikes next to them yep. will shoot. So um, exact same thing again. Ooh. And then twos. So five at no AP. Uh, so that's two damage each. One down to a wound. Then rotary cannon. Yep. Uh, two way back in. Twos. Uh, so that's four AP nothing. So another one dead. Yep. Then I will do this Sagittar. Yep. Actually, I'll do the Sagittar that's in combat with a Sword Brethren, because that would be easier. Yep. So Minus one hit. But I'm plus one a hit. So fours with the beam cannons. One hit was sustained. D3. Oh. Gross. Twos. Oh. Four at minus three. <laughs> So I have to do the one at a time. So this guy here, six up, yeah. dead. Uh, oh, no. D6 damage. So yeah, dead. This one, D6 damage. Dead. This one here, D6 damage. Dead. Cool. Oh, and then I got opposite <laughs> rolls. And then I get a four up in run save on the old Empress champion. He is... Four damage. Oh. Got a wound left. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, cool, 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 cool. Bolters, one hit. Yeah. One wound, minus one. He's okay. Uh, yeah, because he had two up, didn't he? He certainly um, does. Cool. Then I'll do... So I've got Ouch. these three Sagittars in here left to do. Oh, and bit. the unit there. So I'm going to shoot... I'll, sh- I'll do the Sagittars here. So I'm going to do this Sagittar. Yep. He's going to shoot heavy bolt of things here. Yep. And the beam cannons over here. Yep. So freeze into the unit. D3 extra hits. Oh. <laughs> I mean, you know how I said I wanted to Please. learn a bit more about how this works? Four it turns out rolling three. sixes is, is, is pretty good. It's quite so impactful here. You will get cover, you will get cover, you've got at least one. Um, two, one two will go through. Two will go through. First one. Dead. Dead. Cool. Oh. <laughs> Brutal. Quick game's a good game. <laughs> um, and then into the Assault Intercessors, uh, one hit with sustained, freeze, uh, one wound minus one. Twin link, mate. Oh, thank you. One wound minus one, so one dead because two damage each. Then I'll do I'll do all of these guys now just yep. to see what because see if I could free that up. So all of this into here. Sure. So sure, I'll do sure. magma rail fours, hit here, twos, one wound minus four. Go. It doesn't matter. Oh, so I yeah. shouldn't even rolled it. In uh, bed. Two damage. Then uh, the assault bolter, uh, and then freeze. Three at no AP. So one wound, and then three the iron guns all hit. Uh, two wounds minus one. Uh, both on. Is it good? Then, oh, I could just shut now. No, no joke. Um, beam cannons into here, yep. and bolter into here. Yep. So bolter, one hit. No wounds, twin linked. Twin linked. One wound minus one. Is it okay? Beam cannon, 
No hits. Okay, rinse and repeat. Yep. A bolt cannon, two hits. Uh, one wound. Reroll. Twin links. Two wounds, minus one. So they're both dead. And then beam cannon, both miss. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, cool. Um, this unit? Yeah. Yeah, I got a quick super chat for they you. They can't shoot anything, they can't see anything. <laughs> Sorry, um, Jake. We've, uh, <laughs> quick super chat. Uh, Ron yeah. Tastic has come in again. Thank you so much um, for the super chat, Ron. No, I'll try and check um, it. Steve, there is only one reason why you are 50% behind, Jake. You simply don't have any big name heroes in your Black Templar army list. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my tank! Stop breaking the models! Put his beam cannon on. He said, love Chris your reaction. Chris is going to beat me up. Thank you, Vanguard Tactics, for the great work. <laughs> um... He says, sipping his drink maliacally, or something like that. La la la. Oh, you're on one wound. Oh, I've got oh, one. Breathe. <laughs> okay, so nine inch charge with these bin lid That's head people. They fail it. Um, I don't. You'll probably just punk my tank. That's the problem. So I don't really want you to do that. But equally. I don't really care. So we get. Oh, because if I blow up, actually, I'll kill him. Yeah, let's do that. So you get to fight here first. Well, you get to fight where you want first. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like uh, Steve's lagged out for a moment. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. And what are you doing, Steve? <laughs> Nothing. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, Sagittar, run over the Emperor's Champion. You can do it. Okay, all here. <laughs> oh. Two minutes. Two, no, no, I, I, I was seeing if it's cocked. It wasn't cocked. One wound, no AP. Oh. Are you okay? Yeah. Oh, thank God. And then, no. Ufa, the destined. Oh, Ufa, you're so... <laughs> Fours. <gasps> and I'm going to turn that to a six. He's dead! Yeah! <laughs> you just slagged him off. <laughs> I know, I know. You just slagged I, him off. I know, I know. And I take know. it all back. I know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> take it all back. I'm sorry, hang on. Because otherwise Stephen will have a go at me because he's he's very like all win all cost. Mm, right, and then put him straight back where he was. Okay. Um, it's because you're using my miniature. That's why he's performing well, so I well. Well, I wanted for you. to use my one. Yeah, but <laughs> he's painted too I well. I like my one the best. <laughs> he's painted too well. Did you say? Um, right. The Emperor's Champion hitting my potato tank. Some time today, please. What's up, Josiah? Ten. Ten. So I'm just ten. Yeah, sure. Oh, you believe me. <laughs> it is. It is right. I'm not lying. It's two. Two. Uh, so six up. So why I die? Hey, I'm alive on three wings. <laughs> God. Champion of what? Champion of what? <laughs> right. Can you put three wings on my tank, please, so I don't have to come over there otherwise you'll hit sure. me. Sure. Um, cool. That's it. So I'll get secure no man's land for five. Deploy teleporters for five. I'm so good at Warhammers. You're very good at Warhammer, Jake. I'm so good at Warhammers. Uh, but I do get Defend Stronghold. That's very good. I'm very proud. So that is some points at least. Yeah. Uh, and I will score 10 on primary. You will, because you've got this one. Do you oh. owe me a battle shock? Probably. Uh, nope, you've got five left in the unit. Storm hostile objectives and cleanse. So come at me, bro. As a, one, as a famous man in a big onesie once said. <laughs> Do you want to go to the top down and mute us? Do I want to? Yeah. What CP is you on? Uh, I'm on one. Steve's on three or four, I think. Uh, yeah, I've got my three at the moment. I don't know if he's gone up or not. We'll come back to that. Yeah. Okay. So another big hit in turn. I mean, these are big punches being taken out. Um, Votan, are, I mean, I, I really like the way Jake's used the Votan. He's used them very, very well. Sort of tempting these Black Templars with like a Sagittar here, a Sagittar there, some warrior units to half guard, and then coming in with all of these shots from all of these units to it, it, trade up, essentially. It, it's definitely a masterclass in bait, isn't it? Because, you, you know, Steve's army um, packs huge punches when it gets there, but only in one or yeah. two places at a time. Yeah. And, you know... And these Votan are so cheap. They are so cheap, aren't they? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I was surprised when we, when we were setting it all up before the stream, just how many models were. You even noticed on the on the the picture we have for the armies at the beginning, yeah. we weren't able to fit all the models on. 
So we had we had to have a kind of a, a selection board of, of everything because <laughs> you, you know we're, we're, we're missing some warriors, the bikes. We we literally couldn't fit it in the picture um, without having to to reset the board up. Yeah, I mean, yeah, the, the training potential. I really like the bikes as well. The way that Jake has played it so that they were within the six inches of the board edges in order to spring this trap. Yeah, the the the, the, the maneuverability. I mean, it's not it's not just the bikes we've seen this from today. You know, the, the reason the scouts are in the list is for a very similar reason. Mm -hmm. This ability to constantly reinteract at, 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 at the in the scoring phase phases of the game. Um, just keep it clean in the chat, guys. Um, you, you know that. It's really important to always be able to come back and, and score, um, yeah. even perhaps when things haven't quite gone the way you intended. And and the bikes are so good for that. You know, if you've got one guy left and he's just at the edge of the board, just take him off. He can come back later. He can deploy teleport Homer. He can behind the enemy's lines. Yeah, which I'm sure is some sort of grammar. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And being in so many different places at once, as soon as you start winning that war of attrition, your opponent's not able to deal with all of your assets. Um, so we've got some turns here for uh, Steve to potentially take out multiple things in one go. Yeah, and uh, speaking of Steve, I think he's ready for us back at the table. Cool. Okay, everybody. So um, I have oafed of momented. Uh, who did I say? I didn't say anyone. I, you actually didn't say that. I don't mind. Who do you want to do? Well, we'll just do it on this Sagittar here. This Sagittar? Yeah. Very good. Uh, I've spent one CP to put my Empress Champion in the Tactical Doctrine, so I think that believe takes me down to two uh, you or didn't three. Any last turn? Three, I believe. I'm down to three. Yeah, because I did card, turn that so earlier. Yeah. yeah. Um, I know you did spend Armor mm. of Contempt last turn, but yeah, I haven't yeah, spent, but you haven't we, spent we, any this turn. We have you on three. Yeah. 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 So yeah, that's right. I've got one. So who do I owe for the moment? Yeah, I think it'll be um, yeah this Sagittar here. I'm going to owe for the moment. Uh, yes. Okay. So, um, the one on full wings, well, one of the ones on full wings. Actually, I think it's this unit here that'll need the help. So, I'll go on the bikes. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Right. So, we're going to shoot the infiltrators first of all. I have put my army in the assault doctrine, by the way. So, I have advanced with a lot of the units. The intercessors, the infiltrators, even. So, they've got an Oculus carbine. It's assault. Oh, that's cool. Um, so, they can advance in charge. Mm -hmm. Actually, then, they've got assault weapons. So, I'm going to scoot on a little bit extra. Uh, so there was a guy there, four, six from there, get a bit closer. You're going to leave your objectives? No, I'm oh, going to keep a dude there. on it, keep a, a dude on it. The so they're now going to shoot, um, and they're going to get two shots each. One, a two, a three, a four, and a five. And they've missed, cool. And then we're looking for fives, three, a three saves please, no AP on these. So four up. Uh, one failed. Okay, cool. Uh, okay, so that's all the shooting I've got because everything else has done that. I am going to chuck a grenade at you. I Uthar. knew you were going to do that, you cheeky monkey. Right. Hmm, I know, right? So you, uh, six dice. Six dice. Every four up. <laughs> that's three. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> he's on two. Uh, then we're into the charge phase. So this Empress Champion is going to charge onto this unit here. I. I'm going to not do anything right now. Cool. <laughs> I'm I sorry, it. I was actually thinking. Actually, if I can declare both, I will. That's okay. But don't you have to base both? No, I don't have to base oh, both, okay. no. Cool. And then... Oh, yeah, get bo into both. Yep. And then over here, these dudes into there. Mm -hmm. Ten. That's kind of annoying, actually. Yeah, so he has to go. So oh, I'm, actually block yourself I'm going to have to block him there. And then he'll have to go there. These guys are then blocked. Yeah. So then he He's still has to move though, right? Yeah. Can you not put him two inches so when you wipe them you move back three? So this guy so he goes go two there. two. Yeah, he goes I two, don't. Two. That was not the role I wanted. No. And then three. We're yeah. just gonna have to try and kill you. Okay. Cool. Um, right. So that is pretty annoying actually. Here into the bikes. Yep. Well, to soften the blow, Tattoo Tabletop came in with five Vanguard Tactics Yay. membership. Oh, what a ledge. Oh, awesome. I can't wait to see you, James. He is a ledge. James. And he plays for an AOS team now. He does. Very good, congrats. He's doing fantastic. His AOS looks sick, He's taking actually. Black Templars 12 Yeah, We had our coaching call at the weekend. I thought you were playing in the AOS for LVO, James. Uh, all of Very this. Good. Could do some charging. Him into here. I'm going to declare this unit. Yeah. 
And I'm this an unit. one of the Sagittals. Okay. And I'm declare this unit here as well. Cool. So I have watched one of the Sagittals. Okay. So no one's on any wing. Is that you Beam out cannon? Is that you out of CP? Yeah. And then no, nothing. Cool. Okay, cool. Then need to maintain coherency. If he maybe. Yeah, cool. So start the combat phase, he picks a unit. Three, D3 oh, mortal wounds. Oh, Three, oh, Uthar is dead. Oh, Uthar, grenades and lanterns are not your friend. <laughs> uh, right, so that's the start of the combat phase. Look, you can't interrupt, the... right? No. Look, they're the same. Cool. <laughs> so he will mm -hmm. boost into here. Oh, no, he's already on max. On that unit. I'll boost up the... He's already damaged two, so I'll boost up their attacks, I think. So he's on nine wounds, he's on four. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Him onto the unit there. Mm -hmm. This one's the O for moment target, isn't it? It is. Yeah. I'll boost up the damage, I think. <laughs> uh, apparently, infiltrators have a heavy weapon, not an assault weapon. It's the incursors that have the assault weapon. Oh. I don't think it made any difference. It killed a guy. You are correct. I looked at. Them. Yeah, you're right. I looked at the incursors. I even said the Oculus bolt carbine. I just looked at the wrong thing. It's uh, right. Killed a bloke, but I'll just well, I'll stay back here if that's all right. Do you want to just redo all that all and I get my band back? Well, I'll just stay where I am, okay? And, and I'm not gonna shoot. charge. No, I'm not okay, gonna charge. So, yeah, yeah, that's fine. I don't mind that. That's all right, yeah, 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 of course, that's fine. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Obviously, I've seen the fact that I rolled big, but no, 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 it's we fine. Go. If you knew you were, if you knew you didn't have a soul, you wouldn't have run and shot, you wouldn't um, have like gone for it. Do what I originally was going to do yeah. so. We will go, doesn't matter really here, does it? Uh, no, because I can't interrupt. Yeah, we'll boost up the damage over here. Hellbreak will go first. Six oh. attacks. <laughs> uh, he misses once. No lethal or sustained, unfortunately. T10. Okay, so that is just uh, one wound. One. I want to spend one for plus one to wound on the old Lance strat and then one a plus one AP. Yeah, so that'll be two. Do you need what strength's he? Six. He's nine. Oh, okay, yeah. So two minus. Loads, isn't it? Minus four. Yeah, so I won't get saved. Don't let you blow up. No. Just to give the rest of the unit plus one to wound, really. Yeah. Uh, he will, his attacks would have had to go on there. This guy onto the old. Um, the other potato sack. Yeah, mate. This one's the one that's oafed. Yeah. These are lethal. Mm -hmm. And sustained. So I'll reroll the two that missed. That's lethal. And then wounding on fours because of plus one to wound. Yeah. So five, please. And these are AP what? AP three. So six up. And these are two one damage, damage each. Two each. Two each? I thought you bumped your attacks. No, damage, because... Oh, okay, yeah. so four, so down one. And then the Ooh. last guy, four attacks. Uh, they're both lethal. Three lethals. Dead. <laughs> okay, cool, that's him. Does he blow up? No. And then the one guy, the Mastercraft, the Power Sword Man, into your unit, mm -hmm. four attacks. Four hits, one lethal. Mm -hmm. uh, four wounds, AP three. So, four up. And how much damage is this? Uh, flat three. So, yep, yeah, and then three more will die. So, uh, I'll keep the... No, no, I'll keep the dude who gives me a soul. Okay. And then I'll hit you back. Yeah. No. <laughs> now we'll just consolidate. And you're in combat with me here? Sure, yeah. Freeze! Oh. <laughs> and then... I've got to do over here, so... yeah. Emperor's Champion, I'll go for the big sweeps. Mm -hmm. Let's see what his profile is. Well, you do that. We've got a, we've got a, a super chat. Um, two pounds from VT Jord. Uh, Steve, I've almost edited the bat rep turns. <laughs> Why is it not done earlier, Jord? <laughs> it should be out while we're streaming. Come on, hey, this we should is... celebrate his first super on a, a live stream. Yeah. Oh, thanks, to pay thanks George. To we, we appreciate the support of the channel. It's it's I, generous to you like you. That I love how he's had to pay to tell Steve I've done my job. Well, yeah, because I don't reply to his WhatsApps. Yeah. I, just, I just leave him on red. Yeah, that's what you do with everyone. Yeah. yeah. Be me. Steve, Steve, I really need to know something. Oh, yep. Sounds like a you problem, that, Jake. That sounds like a next Thursday's issue. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, good work, George. Oh, yeah. Work, I forgot what you said the other day. Oh, it's, well, no, you read it. You, it's still there, Steve. I haven't said anything else. Just because I left you on red doesn't mean I actually read it. 
No, I know. Even better. <laughs> Ten attacks into this unit. Blue ticks hurts. Okay. Is that a good unit? It is. T5. One legends. Right. AP2 main. The legend of Binlid. Four plus. Oh. Uh, how much damage is it? Uno. One. One. Six up. <gasps> the legend of Binlid. Oh no. The legend of Binlid. Binlid. Oh. Six up. Oh. And then how much AP is it? Two. Two. So six up. Six up. Let it all dead. You get another judgment taken, so you had two judgment taken, didn't you now? Mm, very nice. And now I'm just piling into this guy again. So up to two, yeah? Yeah, cool. three attacks back, threes, twos, two saves, no AP. Does he have a two up save? He has a two up Aww. save. <laughs> I was like, oh. Over there, Judy. <laughs> this is amazing, this is the best um, day of my life. Because the Judas has killed a character, he gets an extra attack now. Oh, very good. Uh, what wounds are you on each of those? Uh, three and four. So I'll boost up the damage. So what damage are you now? Three okay, on cool. Judas, sir. So I'll allocate the wounds first onto the one with four wounds. Okay. He hits. Mm -hmm. He's probably going to kill them all, to be honest. But... Or not. Um, well, that's uh, just devastating wounds. So About three. So one's on a wound. Uh, go with the guy with the... Um... Why have I not got my lightning claw dude over there? You killed him. I should have had him back. That's right. You can put him in there, there if you go. want. He should not be dying. That's just a regular power sword. That's fine. That's fine. There's no way you ever get rid of your lightning claw. Yeah. So lightning <laughs> claw man. Go full lightning claw. <laughs> Always go full lightning claw. <laughs> uh, Reroll wounds. Just the one wound actually. And this AP2. is AP2. Uh, fail it. Two so damage. One on one wound dies. Mastercrafter power sword man. Uh, four hits. Mm -hmm. Two wounds. Two uh, minus two AP. So six ups. And this is two damage. Flat three each. Flat three each. Yeah. So that's both of them dead. So I'll go take this one off, so then he has to pile that way. They're all dead now. Hmm? They're all dead, right? Why? Because you put the first guy, I did flat three damage. Yeah. Oh, does he have flat three? Yeah. Oh, I thought he was flat two. No, no, he's flat I've, three. I've, oh, no, he's the He is sergeant, two, but because yeah. I plus the damage. Oh, okay. Yeah. But, yeah, that's fine. Right. So, okay. Right. Um, so I'll hit you back. Bloop, bloop. So, right. People on the bikes. Freeze. Ooh, they're angry. Fours. Uh, four wounds, no AP. So two pounds, <laughs> one's on the wounds. Okay. Right, potato tank. So you hit. Oh no, I've already done the potato tank, don't I? Uh, this potato over. tank, though, I haven't done. Yes, sir. All hit. One wound. <laughs> Onto here. Okay. Ooh. Right, that's it. All right. Uh, cool. So. That's a lot dead. Yeah. Um, nice. So, okay. end of your go. So you I do get storm hostiles. Sacked definitely. off cleanse, because that's a load of rubbish. Um, and then I'll get me a CP. And then I've also done this one. So you get five points. Yeah, secure, uh, storm hostiles. Yeah. So start my turn. I'm yeah, going to get five. You will, yeah. And then I'll get capture enemy outpost and assassination. Okay. Which is looking pretty tasty. Well, well, well. Uh, I can't take this off the table. So I did, that was five primary, wasn't it? Five primary, and I got capture any outpatient assassination. I could redraw it, but I'm not fast actually. I'm quite actually fancy myself there. Cool. Giggly ghost of it, just having a little giggle moment to herself. <laughs> That's what she does. <laughs> so I feel a lot more joy in the studio now. Huh? Yeah, there's a lot more joy in the studio. I'm glad someone's enjoying it. That's what you call it. <laughs> oh. um, right, so yeah, if you go to top down and mute us and stuff. Battle shocks. Oh, yeah. Roll uh, me some. Uh, this one. Fine. Uh, tank. Fine. That's it. Mm, there we go. I don't have a lot left. <laughs> That's quick then. Yeah. Right, yeah, if you get top down. What it. command points have you got left, Steve? I got one. Oh, I'm up to three now. Shut up, Jake. Yeah. I'm up yes, to three. Sir. I love it when he gets all. Cool. Warm. Okay. Okay. I'm just going to keep moving now. Cause... Whoa, whoa, whoa. What's this about? All right. Down. George wants his two pound back. Sorry. No <laughs> refunds. <laughs> <laughs> uh, someone just said, worth mentioning, no, I built an army due to stay. watching Stephen's video he did on changing the tournament scene. Oh, excellent. Well, I suppose the immediate follow-up is, uh, which army? Yeah, which army? Let us know. And speaking, actually, of changing the tournament scene, the next one's ever queue dropped. We mentioned it at the start. Yes. Uh, what are your initial thoughts, Chris? So, um, we're specifically, we're talking about the change to the stratagem, um, which... 
now means that mortal wounds can only be dished out by canoptic models as opposed that's to right. units where that's they cannot. Right. So, so the, the interaction is with the immortals, is that right? That's right. So devastating wounds now, that stratagem will only affect models with the cryptic or canoptic keyword. Okay, not units with not it. Units. So pre whereas previously you could attach a character and then kick out... Five million dev wounds, yes. Yeah. So as a rule, um, I think... The smaller amount of dev wounds available is is for the better because it's such a powerful mechanic that it yes. can warp lists around it. So uh, I do have sympathy for people who were relying on that to a degree. Um, mm -hmm. It's never nice to have your thing be less good than it was when the day started. Yeah. Um, but I don't think it was healthy for the for the game um, to have such a easy access to that much devastating wounds. So yep. I'm in favour. Um, Fair enough. And, you know, I, I, I like these clarifications as they come, um, mm. even if they do tend to, to have an impact. Well, we have to change some of our Necron's masterclass because of it. So. Well, that sounds like, a, a, you, that sounds like <laughs> a you problem, to be honest, Michael. I think it's a little bit too harsh. Okay. I would have preferred, you know, yeah. changing it from a battle tactic. I think that would have been enough because okay. it is 2 CP. Yeah, um, and I suppose I suppose it's interesting to see what that kind of impact that would have. Um, so they're, they're ready for us at the table. Okay, okay. No worries. But other changes, I think, great. And we've had some clarifications. Yeah. So I'm happy with the Necron's changes, but I think they went a bit too far with that one. Okay. All right, back to the table. Yeah, I'm going to do some shooting. I did some movement, and Steve did a very clever thing in squad tactics. So I had captured him outpace, and my goal was I was going to charge the unit. Mm. I should have just stayed outside nine, because I've moved now within nine, and then Steve's moved the unit D6. And he measured it. And it basically meant he would have needed a, I would have needed a seven because you rolled a four. If I moves back. So instead, he's moved towards me. So, so then I have, have to... You have to base every model now. Yeah, and I'm not going to kill them all. I'm a tubby bin lid head person, not a miracle worker. Right. Fair. But we okay. still love you. Well, someone else. I don't. <laughs> don't say things you can't take back. Uh, five, shooting here. Threes. Uh, shrink five, twos. Four at minus one. We'll get cover here. Um... Mm. He can see him fully. We well, good. Fully. Worked that out. Geo's coming with a super chat. Anyway. Hey, Chris, Jake, Mike, and Stephen. Oh, Happy no. New Year. When we left. Looking forward to seeing you guys next I week at LVO. Oh, no, 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 that's... I think they're so focused on the game. Sorry, Geo. Um, sorry, mate. We are trying to figure out some stuff. Um, yeah. yeah, Happy New Year, buddy. And we can't wait to catch up with LVO, mate. Yeah, I can't, I can't wait to see all these people. They're all the great. peoples. They're all lovely. Yeah. Yeah. Geo is better. Geo's always been one of my favourites. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah. I love seeing him. We're, we're, we're not supposed to have favourites. <laughs> but, but we do. But I blatantly have. Well, well, yeah, I definitely do. have a few favourites. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but that means if we don't have favourites, then we can't also have people we dislike. Well... We don't dislike anyone. Well, speak Everyone for yourself. Everyone dislikes us. There's a difference. Oh. Yeah. I, just, I do dislike you. That's fair. I dislike yeah. you. Fair. Because you always have to win on stream. At least we've got a gentleman's agreement. Yeah. Dislikable. Mm -hmm. I, I, I've never seen him win on stream. Yeah. Oh, sorry, that's just when I'm playing him. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you, and you cheat properly as well, at least. Shade. Huh? What did Shade. you say? <laughs> Shade. <laughs> yeah. The good thing I like about Steve, he cheats properly. Right, there we go. All right, Sagittarius shooting here. Get wrecked. Threes. Two units. Twos. Two minus one. Uh, that's a fail, so one's dead. And that's another fail, so one's left down on the wings. <laughs> Uh, which one? This no, it has to be that guy now. Yeah. Unfortunately. Special boom cannon. Uh, two hits. Two wounds minus three. Uh, so he'll die no matter what. Um, <laughs> uh, four damage. So that kills the other one. Great. So now they're separate. They certainly are separate. So they get a judgment taken each. What? Uh, <laughs> You get, yeah. you get a judgment um, token. You get a judgment token. And then over there, everyone gets a judgment uh, token. Bolt cannon, two hits. Into the Emperor's yeah, Champion. Two, two at minus one. Look how proud of... Oh, he's dead. <laughs> 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 Unless you re-roll it, but I've still got beam cannon. And you still have a save to take. And it's minus one. To soften the blow, Argonaut's been a member for 18 months. It says, hey oh, been out for six months to finish my PhD. Good luck well with done. that, mate. Uh, how are the Black Templars doing in the meta? <laughs> Sorry, it's just how Michael went. You got PhD. <laughs> PhD. You got PhD. <laughs> anyway, so how are the Black Templars doing in the meta? I'm bringing my BT to the table at the end of the month. Quite well, I think. 
quite, it's quite nice actually. <laughs> They're doing great. <laughs> they are doing really, really superbly. Ben knows match for the Binlin head people and a potato himself. <laughs> Mr. Potato Head leading his army. Oh, we'll people. come to the other member for 19 months in a bit. Um, let you guys carry so, on. end of my turn, I'll get assassination, no. and I'm going to bin capture enemy outpost for a CP. That then means I've got one CP at the end of my turn. Going into C turns, I'll have two CP. Okay, cool, up to four. Oh, um, is it even worth charging you there? It doesn't make any difference for points, it's just like if I fancy. I haven't just done tactical doctrine yet, so I could just fall back and shoot and charge. To be fair, like it literally makes no difference whether you do that, if that makes sense. So, okay. No, nah, I'm not gonna. I'm All not right. gonna. I'll just. I'll have to make you, like, spend what, a reason. What turn is this? Turn four. Bottom turn four. Turn bottom four. turn four. So I. I know, it's wild. It felt like it's gone on forever. Two cards: engage in all front and area denial. So you've got area denial, providing you keep Hellbreak there. Yes. And engage in all fronts. Um, and your primary that. this turn, Steve. Uh, ten. No. Ten. Five. No, oh hold... no, you got Hellbreak. Yeah. Sorry. Five for ten. I think I'm winning on second days and you're winning on primary. If I had to do some maths. If you had to do maths. Yeah, um, I'm going to overwatch. Okay. Well, actually, yeah, I'm going to overwatch. All right then, suit yourself. So, well, we're going to stop, stop updating you on score because it's, yeah. it's getting closer. Great, we can end. One hit with a buff. So we have another, uh, another two minus one member here. Oh, sorry, that's the point. So one dead. On Have you just cracked on? What's happened there? Yeah, we're just oh, in Overwatch. Right, okay. uh, no hits there. And I'm then... really glad he's overwatched over there though, because I didn't want to overwatch over here. No, but you only wanted to move. Uh, no hits. There we go. I killed a sword brother. It's definitely gonna move. Oh, you owed me a battle shock there as well. Oh, did I? Owe you a battle did owe me a battle shock. Uh, I'm not shocked. Oh, you're fine. <laughs> I'm not shocked. This has been the theme of the game. Nobody is shocked. Yeah. So yeah, if you mute us and go to the top down, I guess. Okay. Gladly, Seb said. Gladly. Gladly. <laughs> Shade from the corner. <laughs> Rock and stone all the way home, but I want these dwarves dead. <laughs> Rock and stone. Rock and stone. Uh, and wow. then <laughs> John Miller, been a member for 90 months. Curious to know what everyone in the studio's current favourite model is and what their favourite place to eat in the UK is. Oh. All right. So Jake wants to answer the question first. Current favourite model, favourite place to eat? Uh, the one Steve got me for Christmas, the Ancestors Raff and Nando's. <laughs> so Mainly because I get... but, but specifically Nando's and Salisbury. Yeah, because I get mega discount. Big up Matt and the Nando's lads. <laughs> so, <laughs> I, I know you all watch. <laughs> you all love Warhammers. <laughs> so, Nerds. I know, but they give me like chicken at 40% off. Steve, what is your favourite model currently and what's your favourite place to eat in the UK? My favourite model is Sigismund. Sigismund's pretty cool. My hell wrecked, yeah. Can you not do that? Oh, that I was thought... there for a reason. Oh, sorry. I was, no, I was trying to not do you out of stuff. <laughs> I was that, there for a reason, lad. And my favourite restaurant. Favourite place to eat in the UK, yeah. Oh, me and you have been to some it's good places. It's a Turkish places. restaurant. Well, we've, also, we've also got another good one coming up that you're going to like. Okay, Ooh. here we go, right? Any Turkish restaurant that sells the chef special. Because <laughs> 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 if you go to an event with Steve, he goes... Looks at the menu, doesn't ask what anyone wants, and he goes, this is how it works here. Four chef special, share them between us. Anything we don't eat, we put in ash. So. <laughs> but that's the perfect way to do it with a big group of people. Oh, yeah. But, but to, let, to let Steve thing. answer his own question. My favourite place to eat. Oh, I'm not sure. So Give many. us one of your favourites. Just where was, go for where one. was that it's steak easier. place you and I went? Because that was good. So well, we had... Uh, you and I went to... Car oh, no, we went to uh, well, we the had, Ocean Grill. Well, we had the Wagyu. In Southampton. Where we had the challenging weight stuff, yeah. Yeah. Um, so we, we went to an exceptional restaurant in Southampton called um, Ocean Grill. Uh, Wagyu Platter, I think we had. And it was, it was divine. It was fantastic, yeah. Mm. Well, yeah. for, for our so follow-up, I've got another place we're going to take. Have a model with <laughs> yeah, uh, six. Oh, he's going to get jealous at this stage. <laughs> you know, she's going to up a game. She wants to keep up with Chris. Seb, what's actually, your okay. current favourite model? Queek head taker. <laughs> Quick head taker. Oh, the yeah, quick head taker. Oh, like, uh, yeah. I mean, he's just throwing a scaven model in there. I well, think. yeah, and no, I actually want to get the rats in, right? And, and, and best place to eat? Right. He's, he's, he's not, not hungry, by the way. He's not hungry. Yeah. Yeah, he's not sure. He's not sure. <laughs> um, my favourite model at the moment. Usheran. Mm. Seb likes Usheran. That's a very cool Usheran's model. Usheran's a very cool model. Very, very cool model. 
Uh, that's the Flesh Eater Quartz King guy. Oh, they're cool. Very cool model. Um, oh, I, don't, I don't know. Oh, well, I'll, I'll jump in and save you then. Okay. Because um, the new... Le- is it a leech priest on the on the bone dragon from the, bone the dragon. yeah from the new tomb yeah. king starter set um it's the model i'm looking forward to building and painting the most so that oh, that's cool. my that's that's my current my current thing um favorite place to eat um well today will be the mcdonald's drive through and souls run away home because i because <laughs> i'm really hungry Look, uh, <laughs> you gotta eat you gotta eat <laughs> uh, i think they're ready for us so you've got more time to think about your okay, answer brilliant. while we uh, go back to the table <laughs> Okay, so uh, it's going to be pretty quick. I've spent the CP to put uh, Helbrecht in the Assault Doctrine, and I've just moved my, um, what's his name? Uh, Lieutenant. Yeah, he's on the inside of this building, so I don't get him shot next turn from this Sagittar. So, uh, with all that being said and done, I'm going to start off with the 10 shots with the Heavy. I haven't moved this unit. Mm-hmm. So, they're hitting on twos. Mm-hmm. They hit. Uh, you, there's a one there. Oh, sorry. That's I right. No, not, no, that's right. I no, like I said, you cheat in the right way. Exactly. Right. When you're not looking. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And uh, so no one knows. Sorry, four, please. Especially when it happen. No APs. No, too dead. Too dead. It's because their bin lids aren't on properly. Right, so I'm going to be OC5, you're, you're going to be four, so that doesn't matter. Um, do you want to chuck a grenade at anybody? <laughs> Ow, <what? laughs> oh, my potato face! <laughs> uh, I could... You could chuck a grenade. That is a long grenade. (laughs) He's got a strong (laughs) arm. (laughs) Right, so... um, Oh, Brett, from the deep point. (laughs) 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 What is going on with you lot? Well, no, you just were like, I'm going to throw a grenade. No. (laughs) Definitely can't. (laughs) I was like... Look, I was having a look at what other options I had in my life, okay? In your life? Turns out you're not... Far, you're pretty far gone here, mate. Turns out not many. Yeah. So, uh, I am actually going to throw a grenade over there into the bikes. Yeah. And this is the Oath of Moment target, okay? Yeah, so you don't get re here. So we're going to throw a little cheeky uh, grenade. Grenade, yeah. Campus grenade I've ever Take seen. Take four. Uh, I'll kill off this guy. That's the four. That's the, the four, four wound. The four wounder, yeah. yeah. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Uh, then I'm going to shoot. I've got a master crafted weapon over there. You're uh, a the crafted weapon. <laughs> and that is a devastating wound, <laughs> sir. Uh, so for, that's a that's a mortal wound or mm-hmm. whatever it was, you know. Cool, cool, cool. They've shot. They've shot. He can't shoot because he's advanced. The lieutenant has a volkite pistol. He's going to just give you a quick peppering. Uh, no, he is a miss. not. <laughs> he's not, you're not. <laughs> he's not. Charging in here. Did you decide that you aved? Oh, yeah, you aved the bike. Yeah, the bike's here. Okay. Hellbrick. He... And then the biggest shock of the day, Hellbrick made he his made charge. He made it. Cool, cool, cool. And then the unit over there. Seven. Seven. <laughs> you have to bait if you can. <laughs> you'll, put... you'll be able to do it because you can pile in as well, right? Yeah. Just like that. Whenever you know you're right, you whisper. Just like that. Yeah. Was no, it? Like it's a big secret. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, What's in that? <laughs> I'm not really fussed about this, I don't think. That's really kind of you, thank you. Because right, you can't move through me. No. So I'm happy there. Because I could move through you if you charge me, ironically. Mm, exactly. You can right. move through him, but you'll have to take tests. So you can't. Yeah. We're not, We're not in combat. We're not in combat. Oh, they're not in combat. Oh. Yeah, that's what I'm saying is that if he charges me, yeah. then I could. Right. So start the combat phase. Um, I'm actually just going to go there. Hellbrake so in soon. case you move a unit. Uh, I do yeah. D3. Yeah. Uh, well, potentially a roller dice, and it could be. Even... Oh, Stephen. Please. Nice big six is what I want. That's a five. That's flat three mortal wounds. Give me a change. Cool. And they're dead. <laughs> cool. In the shock of the day. <laughs> Hellbreck kills the people. And then uh, just go on to there, like that. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, my base is how far? Over three. So my pile in would have been there to make if sure. If you put one pile in, yeah, gotta go. Yeah. Onto this. Sure, we'll go there. Are you piling it into combat? No, no. there's no one in there. Oh, is the Sagittar not close enough to no. get an engagement range? No. Okay. Um, and then... Yeah, there, over there, yeah, cool. So the, I'm going to spend a CP for the old Cheeky Lance ability. You, you're actually in the Assault Doctrine. No, I'm not. I did that last turn. 
So it just gives me plus one to wound, but not oh, the extra AP. Right, okay. So six attacks from the Judas, sir. Okay. This is the oath target. Okay, they all hit. Is it? <laughs> Need this on the wound now. Uh, plus one to wound, so, so that is four AP two, please. Uh, so six up. Uh, uh, flat three damage each. Oh. Cool, cool, cool. It took the whole game to kill my poo bikes, but it did it. Okay. Right, yeah, you will conclude my turn. Cool. So I got engage on all fronts. You did. And I got area denial. So five and three. Five, yeah, five and three. Cool. So my turn, I'm going to get five. You. Because I hold that you one. You do, yeah. That becomes sticky. Very which nice, is important sir. Important for the end of the game. Thank you. And then cards. Area denial. So I can definitely get it for three inches. Mm -hmm. Just maybe not the other one. And investigate signals. <laughs> um, right. Out of the two things I really don't want to do, which ones I want to do less? It's probably that one. Signals, yeah. So I'm going to send the CP I just got. Bin it, yeah. No prisoners. Kill something. Let's do it. Right, if you go to the top down and mute us, because we'll figure out all the movement. <laughs> uh, according to Chris, that was turn five. But I've got that as turn four. I yeah. thought that was turn five. No, I was like, I thought that was turn four. Yeah, no, I, I think what I've done is, 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 is been very special with the app. <laughs> <laughs> and just skipped to turn ahead somehow. Oh, yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I was more confusing myself than anything. Right, okay. <laughs> Um, what CP are you both on? Uh, I'm on one now. I'm on three. Okay. Cool. I thought you would... Oh, you got rid of the... Yeah, I got rid of the card from the prison. Oh, so what did you draw instead of investigate? I got no prisoners. Okay. So you can right. kill those. So I'm going to spend a CP and squad tactics then. I still can test this. Six. Mm -hmm. So if I go inside here, mm -hmm. this guy can still shoot me. That guy probably can't. If I go here, then he can come this way and still shoot me. Does he battle shot, by the way? Oh. Mm -hmm. I need to do it on that Sagittar. Uh, he doesn't, and the Sagittar doesn't. There's been no battle shocks in this game. <laughs> I'm quite impressed. Cool. I had a super chat. And it's actually Geo's 20th super chat on the live stream. Whoa. Which is amazing. Thanks Geo. so much, Geo. What a hero. Um, you guys are my favourite too. With team competitions getting more popular, any plans to offer a separate class for those interested in that format? I think maybe later in the year we could look at doing a sort of teams package, like a course that's just focused on teams. Yeah, I, I think especially once um, once the kind of v v VT team um, has a few more team event under our belts as well yeah. um, in, in, in the kind of new edition um, it might make quite a compelling package you're right absolutely yeah. yeah and we do have a lot of coaches on the team now that are and have been part of those international teams yeah. you know Steve's played in the WTC at the team's uh, level uh, we've also got people like Mike Porter uh, a guy called Ramsey we've got Jake Harding. Jake Harding, of course. Yeah, he's, played, he's played on um, some, some got, top um, calibre teams. Lachlan Rigg from Australia as well course, has joined yeah. us recently. So um, we do have people that can I can pull heads together and kind of get something out there. Yeah, we, we didn't so. add Chris Anderson to that list because Chris, well, uh, he, he uh, I make good moral support. Um, yeah, you're but, more but of a coach. Mascot. But, okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's fair. <laughs> right. Right. We actually missed quite a big moment. I've got a one to one which meant that I don't get this, I don't sit on this objective, which is very sad. <laughs> oh, you rolled a one to advance. Which yeah, you to the and then CP did it and got another one. And I squad big. tactics behind then, the wall yeah. there. So the only thing I'm probably going to get for no prisoners is trying to kill Hellbreck. And then that'll be it, really. All right, go on then. That's sad, that's annoying. Oh anyway, well, right, I'm going to shoot everything at Hellbreck. So I'll do the bolt cannon first. <laughs> I've had them all out of my good balls before. Beam cannon, but you put two. I will be. What's the AP? It's AP3. So it doesn't matter then. Yeah, so one fat. I'll just. Yeah, one more. One? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's probably the game. Uh, yeah, that's that's it. I don't get any points. Okay. Uh, very sad. I will just bin one off to have a CP. Yep. Uh, I'll bin off area denial because I can still get no prisoners if I kill something. So are you a battle shock check on my unit over there? You do. Please. 
Oh. They're okay. <laughs> this has been the game of no battle shot. And then my cards are extend battle lines. Yeah. Which I can yeah. do. Or you and behind think... enemy lines. So you've got it with Hellbreck. So basically, if you kill him and then move the guy here, you'll get 10 points. Did you get rid of no prisoners? Oh, no, I've kept no prisoners. Right, in case you're Specifically you for, yeah, if I get okay. Overwatch. Um, so... And I am going to Overwatch the moment I see something. Oh, I know you will. <laughs> yeah, I know what, you will. Did you score in your last turn, Jake? Uh, nothing. Nothing, so you didn't okay. score. Because I, so I whiffed the advance and I whiffed killing Hellbreak. <laughs> right, okay. And in priority targets, is your primary as a second player scored... Now? No, no it's so done it's at the end of the game. It's done at the end of the game in addition to oh, the I thought it was stacking. all... I think yeah, it's, it's done, done now. now. Done now, yeah. So and it doesn't then, stack. Then the second bit at the end of the game. Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, you do your objectives now. So you'll so be you on get, 10 anyway, right? Because you're... Uh, five, because I've got um, the Sagittarius oh, AC's so we get Hellbrook. five primary there. Okay. See, this is... This is a uh, tight, this. Okay, so uh, I'm going to move this unit here forward. Yeah, I can't overwatch them because I can't... So, oh, no, actually. This Sagittar could... If it's... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Let me just go to Spears there. In. One unfailable charge, basically. Um, I am going to Overwatch. Okay. Because uh, it's easier to kill this one guy than it is to kill Hellbreak. Oh, for no prisoners. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Actually. And then if I kill the Judicia, then I'll get two. Yeah. So bolt cannon. So two hits. Got a hit. Twos. Uh, one wound minus one. Uh, Rerolls. Twenty. Uh, it is twin legs, yeah. Oh, two, two wounds minus two one. Wounds. Oh, so one's not a wound. It's got a wound left. Beam cannon. Oh, no. Opposite. See, see it. <laughs> right, the warrior may kill this one guy. So, uh, Hellbreak is going to stay where he is. There's no point. He doesn't need to move anywhere. What's the OC of that thing? Three. He's OC three. I mean, it hasn't taken any wounds. It hasn't taken what, any wounds. I don't actually yet. know what this is. Is that his wound? That was because I was putting oh, air of denial cool. out. That's fine. So this guy's just going to move out to here because then that's guaranteed five points end of the game. Yeah. I don't know what the score is, so I don't know what I'm really yeah. playing for here. So um, they can just... But they can that just, they make, literally don't have to do anything. That doesn't make... That kind of gives me extend battle yeah. lines. You just have to kill the warrior. Actually, don't, yeah, you have to kill the warrior because we currently contest it because I'm OC2, you're OC2. Yeah. So you've got to kill the warrior Six. and then literally do... And then kill the Sagittar. I'm going to... Oaf this guy. Yeah. Well, I would oaf the Sagittar. He hits on twos. Oh, right, okay. Uh, I'll spend a CP to put him in the Assault Doctor in. So then you can then lance him later on. Yeah. 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 Um, so he's going in the Assault Doctor in. Sure, yeah, I'll put that. I'll oaf that. Uh, cool. Charge phase. Well, shooting phase first. This guy's going to put two shots into here. Okay. Is this a combi weapon? Yeah. Okay. No hit? Yeah! Oh, wait, no, you have Oath on him. No, I've Oathed him. Oh, you have Oath it. I've, I've mind-gamed you. Yep. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> these guys, that doesn't make any difference, so it doesn't matter. No, no. I'll just, eat, just focus on all this. Then yeah. I will spend a CP. Mm -hmm. Two. So I'm down to one now. Yeah. I'm going to grenade that thing. Oh, okay. Good shout. Very sad. Bin lid. Bin lid. Noisy. Take two more to wounds, please. Go down to seven. Okay, cool. And then charges. Unfailable here. Yep. And then... And unfailable charge, yep. yep. Okay, and then I'm going to play the... This guy's in the Assault Doctor in, mm -hmm. so I'm going to play the 1 CP to give him plus and 1 AP lance. and Lance. And okay. then you want to see if his Lantern hits. Mortal Wounds does flat 3. So down to 4. Okay, then 6 attacks here. So 2s and 4s. Yep. Reroll. Mm -hmm. And then fours. Yeah. What damage is he? Three AP four now. Oh, oh thanks. And it's fleet. Yeah, uh, he does blow up, take a mortal. <laughs> okay, and then this, the guy's over there. Yeah. Oh, Mr. I think, um, oh, I think he's dead, but we'll just say. Oh, no. Mr. Judas. <laughs> oh, no. A single on. six. Oh. There oh, we go. Oh, no. With scale. Gave him change as well. Oh, okay. bless him. So that will be... Extend yeah. battle lines and... So you'll get five for extend. And then the small behind enemy lines. Three for behind enemy lines. Yep. And then you'll get 15 at the end 20. of the game. 20. Well, it'll be One. 15 because... No, happens. no, it's for a maximum of 15. Oh, okay, yeah. cool. So you definitely get 15. Yep. Um, and I get five because I've got a stickied one over there. Yep. Oh. Uh, my sticky went very sad. 
So I probably should have advanced him into behind me line, shouldn't I? That's what I was. I was telling you to do that, and you just didn't know. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Yeah, I got. No, that's right. You're in the moment. Yeah, in the I was moment. in the moment. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Do you score any end of game points? I get five. He gets five. I, I stick it the objective at the top. There's not much left, is there? Mm. No, he isn't. Well, well, it's been a terrible game. I haven't enjoyed game. it at all, and no, I really same. do dislike you. Um, and I also hate you, yeah. as everyone else should. Yeah, yeah. okay, we agree. Good. We That's finally agree. We something. finally agree <laughs> that we both... That we both hate each other. <laughs> yes. Right. There's so much hate in the room, it's yeah. uh, sickling. Okay, anyway, have my... sorry. Well. Well. I have my... What do you Angry want? Should we, should we ask them how they think they did? Yeah, how do you think the game went, guys? Uh, I know I've definitely lost because I really struggled with primary. I'd be interested to see if Steve has like, I think you've got like 91 and I've got 69 nah, for banter. <laughs> I'm gonna go for low 80s for me. No, because you definitely have got 50 on primary. I haven't primary. done great. Yeah, but I've only scored like one card a turn. Mm, I don't know. Shit. I'm going to say you got low 90s. And I'm going to say I got 69. <laughs> I mean, Jake well, is very do, close. If so you do get 69, close. it is Uno reversing you well, do exactly, win the game. Exactly, that's why yeah. I need this. So. Right, so Steve? Steve got 87. 87? Oh. And that was maxing primary. Right. Yeah. So okay. you got uh, 27 on cards? Yeah. yeah. And I Sounds about porn. <laughs> Jake? Drum roll, please. I get 69, I'm gonna... You got 71. Oh. Two off. Say, so what was the two? Oh, I didn't get any prisoners, so I couldn't have been like, damn it, no! <laughs> no, that was good. Yeah. But if you'd got some no prisoners and you had rolled the advance yeah. for like area denial and five more primary points, that actually, I think you win the game. No, I don't think I win the game. I think I would have got... Oh, no, Steve's on four objectives, right? Yeah, so I would have had this. One. So imagine, so area denial, you get it for the little one because I had a model in here. So let's assume you get that. Yeah. Well, I would get it for the. Oh yeah, no, I get it for the little one. So you get. But the then I also hold the objective. So that's another five points. Yeah. So I get eight points. For and, that. Then, that and then, and then I chuck him over here for an extra two points on behind enemy lines. Yeah, because that actually having that objective made no difference. Yeah. Because he already had three. Yeah, in that case, it would have been 87 or 79. So it would have been close. Yeah. I mean, very close yeah. game anyway. No, I think it was good. Well, we literally lit, knocked lumps out of each other the first two It turns. was brutal. Yeah, well, well picked... after turn two, I thought, I yeah. thought we were having an early shower. It yeah. was an early shower. Yeah. 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 Killing Bay Flam Raiders turn two was pretty insane. I didn't think I'd do that. I... And also, yeah. bear in mind, I gave you a unit of Berserkers. You did. Because I wanted to avoid Drove Watch later. Yeah. So... Yeah. You played very I'm, well, sir. Thank you. I was quite happy with that. Yeah. Considering I haven't really played a proper game of 40k in months, and Phil, last game I played on last to, Thursday, I had Phil basically hold my so hand. So to me, <laughs> the only reason why I won this game is because the primary mission was favourable for me, because I could just hold two and get max, yeah. basically, and then obviously I had the end game well, that element. That was my, my goal, and your army's a lot more aggressive you, than mine. You, you were 20 points ahead of Jake on primary, yeah. by, by keeping him to yeah. five the whole yeah. game. Yeah. yeah. I, as I said, like I had, I had enough units to play it, but I needed to put all the punch here to get rid of all of that because mm. I was hoping that if I killed all your aggressors and your centurions, so, that you'd struggle killing the Sagittarius, which you did. But I think no. this is an interesting one. I, I think um, three, four, five. <laughs> I'd be interested to play this game again, and you play it KG. Yeah. Because I really, really well, I could struggle. Just sit back and... I think you should sit back a little bit yeah. longer. Yeah. Fill this with. Units that I can't charge the berserkers. Mm. Nobody wants to be charging units up far and death. Mm. That's super scary for me if all your berserkers are in here. And I'd love to play this game and you play it KG rather than aggressive. Well, may, may, may play Shadow Round LVO. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. yeah. Maybe the final. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well no, anyway, that's not happening. <laughs> guys, I just want to say um, well, first of all, Billy. I, I'm assuming you've done an amazing job on the camera for your first time, so well done. Good job, Giggly Goose. Well done, Giggly Goose. Not only Giggly Goose. Goose. Giggly Goose. goose. I like that. Giggly Goose. Giggly <laughs> Goose. <laughs> I'm a goose now. <laughs> <laughs> then we've also, Chris, you've done a sterling job on the commentary. Well, I, um, remarkable <laughs> oh, in many ways. <laughs> Thank you. You are a remarkable man. I've always just saw. He's like, wow. Well. F. <laughs> <laughs> Michael. Well done for getting oh, here. You did a great job. Thanks. And uh, your commitment is uh, outstanding and your delivery is impeccable. Oh, thanks. Seb. <laughs> Jake. <laughs> Good work, Seb. Yeah. Great work on those cameras. You've got so many buttons to press now, it's unreal. And uh, Jake, 
I swear to God, <laughs> if you forget. <laughs> Cool, so um, we'll move on. No, no Stephen, say something nice to me for once in your life. <laughs> okay, Jake. Okay. Brian, I'm going to tell you this once. Oh, no. Okay, here we go. For the rest of the year. Oh. I appreciate you, please, and thank you, and now I'm done for the rest of the year, okay? <laughs> All right, that's me done. Yeah. Until 2025, I'll repeat that. So you now know that you're appreciated. Yeah. I'm gr entirely yeah, really yeah, grateful. Yeah. Steve, 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 I've been here longer than anyone. I know the spiel. You, you know the drill. Ones. I know the you drill. You know the drill. Everyone gets one at the start of the year. And if you're lucky, again Get. at the end of the year. And that's only if I forget. Or you're still employed. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and Wait, you guys are getting paid? <laughs> <laughs> you have a Tesla. <laughs> 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 you don't need to get paid. Um, but guys, massive, massive thank you to all of you back home that annoyingly super chat us and interrupt our game and uh, gift us memberships because I don't know why, because obviously our content is terrible. And we are failing. Well, you are. Yeah, go off and, and on that meet your lover, Jake. <laughs> and we'll see so, so many of you at LVO next oh, week. And we're really super chat. Right? Oh, oh, God. Mandy's Even interrupt the goodbye. What, Mandy? <laughs> Uh, oh, just come in. Even worse. Uh, sorry, I haven't been able to support more. Honestly, anything you give us is amazing. Even just the like, the subscribe, the support is amazing. Um, had to buy new tyres after I curved and damaged the tyres on my husband's Tesla. <laughs> Those tyres cost too much. Well, luckily for me, it's a company car, so I don't have to pay for the tyres. <laughs> well, that is fortunate. Yeah, that is very fortunate. Well, Mandy, thank you so much for the super chat, as, as always. And uh, yeah, to everybody back home, thank you so, so much. And we'll see you next. Well, I won't. We might see some people at LVO, which will be awesome in the workshop. You can still get tickets to the workshop. I believe you can still buy them up until the day. Uh, it's happening next Thursday at Las Vegas at the Rio. And if you want to come and have a great time with myself and Jake and all the other VT coaches, the staff that is now a, we've accrued is incredible and um, we can have a fantastic time playing Warhammer together. And if you really want to just get up to speed with the game, that's going to be awesome. And some other great news, the Academy is going to be open for enrollment very, very soon. We are so close to opening the doors for all the people that are on our waiting list. So if that is something that you're on or if you're not on the waiting list and want to be, just head over to the website and sign up for the waiting list as you will get your first spots before anybody else. And there are limited spaces on the Academy as usual. The Necrons Masterclass has now also been added up to the um, websites. You can now get the Necron Masterclass. And of course, if you join the Academy, you also get access to all those other masterclasses that we've done. We've got an incredible subscription service where you can get all of our different masterclasses that we've got. And uh, what was I going to say? A goodbye. I think goodbye. Last. Wait, before that, I only had 15 cards. Whoever gave me these has rigged it. Sorry about that. And you, you got you got it out, baby. Oh well. Bye. <laughs>